<laughs> wow. Oh, my goodness. How much fun are we having today? Oh. oh. Hey, welcome. I'm Sean Parr from the nationally syndicated radio show across the country, and this is day three of week number six, and we're so blessed to have you along. I am here with two amazing families. Of course, the Jurgies. so great to see you guys. What's up? And the Tilbys, the flippin' Tilbys are here, ready to have a good time today and give you the best RVs, the 2021s, the ones you've been waiting to see. We've seen so many incredible units so far, but what's gonna happen at the end of the day today, Bryce? We are giving away an RV to one of you. Woo! Somebody gets an RV. I mean, it happens every week. We've got this 10-week tour going on and in beautiful Utah. Are we ready to do this, Sean? Let's do it. How do they get an RV, though? How do they register? What do they got to do? So in order, yeah, it's super easy. You just got to text URVS to 46642. Pretty easy, right? And then Pretty bam, easy you're peasy. registered. We have so many prizes to give away, so many great things to look at. As a matter of fact, we're going to kick into the travel trailers that are built for two right off the bat. And unfortunately, you guys, you have seven in your family. Don't yeah. think it'll work for but you guys. But loving this, of course, because you Absolutely. had to start with two, right? Yep. Yeah. Not unfortunately, Sean. Fortunately. Fortunately. No, I, I, that is for, <laughs> fortunately. That's right. We're just showing you that families can be on the road and have a great time. And I know you guys like being true, on the road. True, true. We do. All right. And we're going to go next week where? Uh, next week, we are going to be, what state are we going to be Minneapolis. in? Minneapolis. Minneapolis. That's right. That's right. But today, it's all about Utah, and it's all about these amazing travel trailers and showing you what you want to see. It is. And as you guys watch today, you'll have questions come to mind. Anything you have questions about, text RV to 46642, and you'll get connected with a specialist. Yeah, we have so many specialists standing by waiting to take care of you. But right now, let's take a look at the Coleman Light 3055 BS. This is what it's all about. So you may be thinking, all right, this one comes in at just under 35 foot. It's got to be a bunk model. And you would be absolutely wrong because, folks, this is travel trailers that are built for two. And this one right here is the Coleman Light 3055 BS, and it is an awesome floor plan. If you're looking for something that has a lot of space and a ton of storage, then this is the model. Let's actually start off right over here on the kitchen because I love these countertops. You have upgraded countertops in here, not T-mold because we don't want that, right? This is something for two people. You want something that's a little bit higher end. You don't have to worry about kids that are gonna come in and start messing everything up, right? You know, you can't have anything nice. That's what I always tell my kids. This is why we don't have nice things. Um, not gonna be the case here. You get the upgraded countertops, you get the, the undermount stainless steel sink with that beautiful apron front, high rise pull out faucet on there. You know, cause you have to wash and rinse dishes. You wanna make life a little bit easier and that'll do it. Let's see if I can, uh, Matt, no. for the record, if you ever see this happen, in case you don't know, if you're new to pull out faucets, there's a weight down below and sometimes that weight will get hung up. If you just go underneath, move that weight, it'll snap right back into place. Uh, over to the side is a recessed three burner cooktop with a glass cover. You can fold this guy up and back just like that, doubles as a backsplash, that front one's high output, and take a look at the actual backsplash, right? Now, a couple things I love here. One is it's nice and high, you know, kind of like a gray subway tile, but two, it comes on the side. You get the side splash, and that's a big one for me because a lot of times you'll have it back here, but if I'm cooking something right here, that's not what I'm worried about. It's this, right? So right there, I love that it actually comes, uh, you know, across the side here. You got the oven if you want to do some baking underneath that sink. Boom, it's, well, it's a little dirty. I should have probably vacuumed in there, but there is enough space for a trash can, and that's always a big one for me because you know, I don't want my trash bags hanging out, don't want it stinking up the place. You have a couple of drawers, which again, you have to have, right? They have a functional kitchen, you'll see that right there. Big space back here as well, which is great if you have uh, like a coffee maker or something, boom, you can drop it down right there. And also you will see all this additional storage here. Now you can use that for pots and pans, or if you wanna kick off your shoes and toss them in there, that's a good idea too, you know? That way it's not clogging up that main entryway. Storage up top with frosted glass, microwave, and a hood. You'll see stainless steel panels on the front of this guy. This is your Dometic fridge-freezer combo with automatic switchover. Got the nice crisper tray, space for a little bit taller items, like a two liter or you know half gallon of milk, something like that. Then coming over to the entertainment center, we have a TV right there, multimedia center down below, and a fireplace. So the TV is a great angle to the theater seat right here. Not perfectly across, but pretty close. Uh, and then the multimedia center, which has an HDMI port if you have auxiliary equipment, and the fireplace not only looks nice, but will also take a chill off. But here is the really cool thing, ready? Not only do you have that, but 
I don't know why I use Jurassic Park music, but there it is. Anyway, you open that up and take a look at the size of that pantry back there. You wanna talk about great utilization of space. That for me is absolutely it. I love how much space you have back there. And you know, honestly, if the grandkids come, this is where you can hide all the snacks. You know, you wanna hide the marshmallows, you wanna hide the chocolate bars, the Cheez-Its, the Reese's, whatever it may be. You can just stick it right back there. They'll never know that that opened. So all the good snacks can stay back there. Uh, then as we make our way to the very back, this of course is the bathroom. And one of the things I love about this is look at all this space I have in here. Far too often, bathrooms are really crammed in couples models. You know, they'll be like over in a corner. Now it's a rear bath, so you would expect it to be a little bit bigger and it absolutely is. Uh, we'll see in a second, you have a sink and mirrored medicine cabinet over to the side. As for toilet space, I mean, you know, I have great space right here. The other cool thing is take a look in here. You wanna talk about great sp uh, spot to put clothes, right? Because if it's the two of you, maybe you're, gonna, you know, maybe you're gonna live in it for a while. Maybe you're gonna stay in it. You're gonna be a snowbird, travel down south for a few months. Well, you need to make sure you have clothes. And right in here, you have a hanging rod, right? You have some removable shelves, but you have shelves running all the way down, plus more shelves right over here. I mean, this whole thing is a big walk-in closet. And you still have more storage up front. Don't get me wrong. You have a huge wardrobe up front that we'll see in just a little bit. As for shower space, robe hooks right there, by the way. Um, but as for shower space, it's another important one, right? When it comes to couples models, you want to make sure you can stand in the shower. And folks, it's six foot tall. Even without that skylight, it absolutely can with it. You know, I have another probably two inches there. Uh, I can stand in here without having to duck down. Built-in shower door just slides closed nice and easily to make sure that all the water stays in the shower where I want it. And it doesn't end up all over the floor. Now, as we, uh, you can see the sink right there, as we talked about, you know, let me show you this. Underneath, right, plenty of storage space for a trash can even, which I love. The mirrored medicine cabinet right up there. Good size sink, you have an electrical outlet for everything else, you know, whether it's hair dryer, flat iron, electric toothbrush. You know, I don't know about yours, mine seems to die like every four days, so you always gotta plug that in. Um, but when you make your way back out, you'll see the big super slide. Now, theater seating here, as I mentioned, that's right across the TV, right where you want it. Both of those kick back and recline so you can get nice and comfortable. Big windows go all the way up to the top of the slide there. So you can see that lets in a ton of natural light during the day, which is phenomenal. You have your, um, your dinette right over here. You know, you can sit down, relax. You can have four people sit in here. Now, it's built for two, but you know, maybe you like to entertain. I do. I like to have friends over. Maybe you make friends uh, out at the campground. I mean, that's half of what camping is about is, you know, going out, making friends, having people to hang out with, um, you know, having people to drink with. Don't want to drink alone anymore. No, just kidding. Uh, but it, it really is uh, great just to have extra space for people. And, you know, whether you have people to dine at there in the theater seat, well, this one is built for two. It absolutely has space for entertainment value. Um, but yeah, windows here, windows on the sides. Nice light fixture right up top. So you come around to the side, we'll open this up. More pantry space right here. And, and folks, one of the things that I, I wanna remind you too, right, is not only is this one you know, nice and big and have a lot of cool features and can see the ton of people and has a bunch of storage, but you can pick this one up starting at $33,995, which is an amazing price. You're looking at $8.14 a day for something that is almost 35 foot long and has great amenities and a ton of options. You're not gonna miss out, wanna miss out on that one. All you have to do to take advantage of that is text the word RV to 46642. But we're certainly not done. Let's take a look at the front. Because as I said, this one just has a ton of space. You get a slide out bed, a huge window, basically as a headboard, which I love, just lets a lot of natural light in there. You get electrical outlets, USB ports on both sides. Take a look at this right down here. You can see all the additional dresser space. You have a spot to put a TV, windows on both sides of that, and a massive wardrobe all the way across the front like it was a fifth wheel. You know, that's oftentimes what we see in a fifth wheel is the front end, the nose, being a wardrobe, and you get that here. So you have that big walk-in closet in the back. You get this dresser up front. You get the wardrobe up front here, and all of that for, again, under $34,000 starting price. Just phenomenal. Also, this is something that I, I feel is... Um, I don't want to say undervalued, but underappreciated. That is a full-length mirror, right? If I close this, 
Hi, Fritz. <laughs> so right here, I can actually see myself from top to bottom, right? I can make sure that my shoes are okay with my pants, okay with, you know, the whole nine. I, I, I actually get a full profile and you would be shocked at how hard that is to do in a travel trailer. So we're talking about travel trailers built for two, something like that is a great option to have. Another excellent option, this second AC prep. I don't know about you, but you know, being a bigger RV, something like this, I would probably want a second AC if I'm traveling down south. If it's going to be warm, if it starts getting up into the 80s, I'm going to want that second AC and this one has the option to do it. Also, I don't want you to think there's not storage underneath the bed because there absolutely is. As we lift that up, take a look. Huge storage right there, which is fantastic. Goes all the way back there. I mean, if you have some larger items, I know I've talked to uh, a few couples, you know, that will bring like guitars and stuff for sitting around the campfire plugging away. That right there will let you have a space for those. And as we make our way out, upgraded steps makes it easy to get in and out of that RV. You can see the upgraded grab handle right there too. I love the aluminum treads. You know those aren't going to rust on you. You can see that power awning with the LED light strip lit up real nice and pretty. Come on up front. Let me show you a few features up here real quick. Power tongue jack, folks. I always say it, this lets me get to drinking my old fashioned that much quicker because I don't have to sit here and crank that bad boy up and down. I can just flip the switch and that's what I'm all about. You know, uh, you'll see your two 20 pound propane tanks right behind that. By the way, this has a light on it, I may add. So if it's nighttime starting to get dark, you want to light it up. You want to be able to see what's going on, right? The light of your life, uh, that right there, you can light her up. You'll see a three quarter front cap with some LED lights on there. Just a nice little touch. Also, you can't see it too well, but right here, this one has a fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly. So if you plan on doing it, camping a little bit later, whether it's you know in spring, fall, whatever it may be, having that insulated underbelly will not only keep it cleaner, but also it will help um, you know keep things a little bit warmer down there. So that way your tanks, lines, and stuff aren't freezing up on you. Pass through storage right there. You can take a look at that guy. And remember, we still had all that storage underneath the bed plus solar prep located right there. So if you want solar, boom, good to go. Power stabilizer jacks, that way, again, you're not hand cranking anything. And as I mentioned already, you got a power awning. So you got power pretty much everything all the way across. If you want TV outside, because hey, why not, you know? Boom, there it is. You have a mount for it, connections for it as well. Bear in mind that if you do have the TV there, if you're boondocking, which you know, you'd have to be running a generator to run the 120, but your fresh water inlet is behind it, so you have to move the TV. Not a huge deal, don't know why you'd run into that issue. It'd be a very, very rare thing, but did just want to let you know. Coming back a little bit further, outside kitchen. This is another big one for me. A lot of times to get one of these, you have to have a bunk model. If it's just two of you and you want to be able to cook outside, you don't want a bunk model most of the time. And this will still give you the ability to cook though. So right there, you got a two burner cooktop. You got good storage here electrical outlet plus my beer fridge, right? Gotta have that. Coming around to the back, first of all, let me take a look at that. You wanna talk about a gorgeous view, right? We are here in Salt Lake City, Utah, and I'm telling you folks, that is a view. I, it's one of the great things about my job or about RVing in general, is you get to get out and see beautiful things. You know, people that live here might take that for granted, but for me, being from Michigan and seeing a mountain range is just absolutely phenomenal. It's breathtaking. Um, also, you can see backup camera right here. You have a square tubular bumper. You can see the uh, spare tires mounted there. It gives you a place to put your sewer hose. Outside shower, I'm telling you folks, this is just one of so many we have that are built for two people. And this one is starting at $8.14 a day. And again, all you have to do to lock in that pricing is text the word RV to 46642. Now we definitely have more uh, RVs for couples coming up in just a bit. So if this one wasn't the one for you, make sure you stay tuned because we may just get to it yet. Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world. Fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to the second week of the annual Camping World Trivia Competition. Woo! We've Let's got the Jergies Number going one. against the Flippin' Tilbies. Yeah! 
We told you two amazing families. Here we go. We're going to ask the question. The first one to ring the bell will get a chance to answer. If you're right, you get a point. Sean? If you're wrong, you'll be asked to leave the stage. I'm uh, kidding. Here we go. I'm already sweating a little bit. With question number one, RVing without hookups is commonly referred to as, yes, the Tilbys. Boon docking. Wait, wait, wait. I got a question. Yes. Do you have to finish the question first, or can we go any time? You can go at any time. All right, okay. This time out being brought to you by our good friends at Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoor. Here comes question number two. Goodness. In RV or speak, what is a stinky slinky? This one goes to the jerkies. It is the thing that supports the hose or the hose and or the hose. Sewage what? hose. A sewer hose is correct. Oh, You're almost answer. out of time. The judges say yes. It's one to one. Continuing on. Oh, this gosh. one is a trick question. Be very careful. All right. What is the tropical sounding name for the skirt placed around a trailer to keep it warm during winter? The Jerkies! What is it? It's a. Hula skirt has been called! Two to one, Jerkies! The Tilby's trying to catch up with this that. question. How many national parks are there here? Oh. oh, I thought it was the Tilby's! It could have been a tie! We're going with the Tilby's. 63. 63 has been called! That is the. Correct answer! Maybe Correct. finish the question for them so they know what the question was. Ladies and gentlemen, how many <laughs> national parks are there here in the U.S.? 63. We have a tie. We have one more question. What? ESPN should be covering this tonight with scores and highlights. We should have a blimp overhead taking this shot. Here right. it comes. We'll see. <laughs> what RV manufacturer makes the Enlightened 18BH? We talked about it on the weekend to kick things off. Uh oh, oh wait, the uh, Jerkies. Uh, Jayco's. Wrong, and a chance to start it off. Isn't it Gulfstream? It's a Gulfstream. Yeah. Yes, that's what I'm Woo! talking about. I had to just go for it. I just Ladies had to and go gentlemen, for it. that's right. We have a champion. It goes to the flipping right, Tilby. All right, all right. Oh, okay. I'm exhausted. Let's take a look at the Heartland Mallard so that we can get a minute and we'll come back with more. <laughs> another great couple, another great couple, another great trailer for a couple is this one right here. This is the Heartland Mallard 260 and I personally really enjoy this floor plan. Um, now we may not have quite as much storage space. I take that back, you definitely do. So let's get into it. So as we start off, let's flip it around Fritz. I wanna show everyone, I know it's a beautiful view there and we'll get to it in a second, but I wanna show everyone the kitchen because as I said, that's where I like to start because I do a lot of cooking and I wanna know what kind of kitchen space I'm working with. And I think they did a great setup here. You know, beautiful uh, countertops that you have. They are upgraded countertops. You'll see that the sink has your uh, sink top covers in it. These are cutting board quality, right? You can flip these bad mama jammas over, do all sorts of cutting on there. You have the high rise pull out brush nickel faucet, two electrical outlets. So, you know, it's a perfect spot for a coffee maker right back there. If you need to plug anything else in, you still can. Plus you get the three burner cooktop right over here. You can see kind of the upgraded grates on there as well. Flip that guy up and back. You'll also notice the backsplash running all the way to the side right there. Um, you know, now we don't get the side splash like we had in the Coleman. It's not quite as high, but it is still decorative. It still looks very nice. We'll also see a bank of drawers. You have three full extension drawers on here. So you can see that plenty of drawer space. Plus underneath the sink, you have a spot for a, uh, you know, a little bit thinner trash can, but you do still have space for one. All the way across the top is great storage. We'll open that up just to kind of show you, you know, give you an idea of space. And I love the cabinetry in here. I th again, I think Mallard did a great job. They did this, uh, I want to say about two years ago or so. Um, and, I, and I think it's a, a definitely a good change. Maybe it's a year and a half, something like that, but a great change. Uh, microwave hood right there. Doodle station on the fridge. This is one of those things that's very unique. I've only ever seen it in a Mallard. And it's kind of cool. Um, I don't know about you know everyone that's watching at home, but and, and I always say this when I talk about a mallet, but my wife is very artistic, right? And so we have chalkboard stuff like in the home, like in our kitchen, it'll have cute little sayings on it. Um, you know, like it, it's wine 30 or something like that. Um, but you know, I like the fact that if you're artistic, you're decorative, you know, you can put some really cool stuff on here. Otherwise, I know this is built for two, but 
if you have grandkids that come and you know you want to give them something to do give them a piece of chalk and they can you know just draw right down here it, you know at least they'll give them some kind of entertainment for a little while you know get them away from electronics on a rainy day it gives you alternate entertainment here in your rv as you make your way down a little bit further you get into the entertainment center so right there is where your tv will be located You'll see these little guys that'll plug right into the back. Those are connected, of course, to this multimedia center. This is a DVD player as well. And then a little bit of storage underneath there, right? And uh, But again, beautiful cabinetry. But the big kicker here is right over here. So why, you know, the, the pantry or the TV may not swing open to reveal a pantry. You might be seeing a trend in some of these. And that is a pantry behind the TV. So a little bit different, not quite as much storage, but still very large. Uh, you, of course, you have a light in there, as you'd expect, and you will see a place to hang up jackets, which I really like. Because personally, I don't know if I would use this for a pantry as, I, as much as I would for an entryway. So, or, or you know, kind of like a, like a, what I would call like a mudroom closet, right? Walk in, kick off my shoes, put them right in here, have a place to hang up my jackets. If I do cold weather camping, maybe put like some hats, scarves, things like that right up top. Um, I think it's perfect for that, but you know, if you bring a lot of food and you want pantry space, you can definitely use it for that as well. Something I do love about this floor plan is this barn style door on the back. I think this is stunning. Um, it's just absolutely gorgeous. A great job of mixing and matching the woods here. Uh, again, I think it's really beautiful. Big entryway, can walk in here like I'm a king. Um, always do the toilet test and so here we go as you can see plenty of space for the shoulders good space for the legs here as well massive countertop you want to talk about big countertop space in the bathroom if you're one that has your stuff spread all over the place which i know you're out there i know you're watching this right here is the countertop in the bathroom for you uh, you also have a little bit of storage underneath as well as access to plumbing and then more right up top here right so kind of like a super large medicine cabinet going all the way across the top there couple lights your vent fan and then a window in the back to let in some natural light your tank monitoring panel is over here um, and it is worth mentioning that this one your water heater does run off both propane and electric and you can absolutely turn both of those on at the same time for faster recovery linen closet over to the side that's always important right you need a place to put some of your towels or anything else that you kind of you know want to tuck away if you want to throw some extra toilet paper in there it's a great spot to get at it nice and simple and then as for the shower you get a big shower back here too. I mean, you know, again, I, I'm somewhat broad shouldered. I'm six foot tall. You know, I currently am weighing about 210 ish right now. Um, but as you can see, I mean, I can, you know, spin around here fairly easily. With that skylight at six foot, I have plenty of space to stand up in here. It could probably be uh, maybe six two and not have to duck down, which is pretty great. And you kind of have the shower curtain that you can see is built in right there. The cool thing about this is it is mold resistant. Now, they have to say, resistance because they can't truly say it's you know mold proof but uh, trust me it'll, it'll do a great job you can roll it right up when it's wet you don't have to worry about mold or anything growing on it then we take a look at the slide out something i love that they added is right here behind the fascia they put some uh lighting they did that on both sides i think that's really cool i think it adds a lot to the rv itself uh you know as far as an aesthetic piece great lighting in the dinette as well this is a tri-fold sofa so not only is it comfortable and a great spot to see the tv because naturally it's directly across from it but this also does fold out into a bed so if you do have guests and they want to stay the night that is probably going to be the most comfortable bed space for them. You do get the, uh, the option of a dinette as a sleeping space as well. Uh, it probably wouldn't be my first choice. Again, I would much rather sleep on the trifold if I were a guest, but you do have this in case, you know, again, it's the, your kids and the grandkids. You need a couple different sleeping spaces. You are able to provide that. This table I like a lot as well. Um, this is something I always talk about. So with this leg system, it certainly doesn't look as nice as pedestal legs, my opinion, right? I think pedestal legs look a lot nicer. The issue with most pedestal legs is if you shake them, they, they will shake quite a bit because, you know, they're it's just pedestals. So it's going to move back and forth in there a little bit. It's not super tight. But with this one, it's actually mounted to the wall here as well as having the legs. So, I mean, you can shake this pretty heavily and it's not going to go anywhere. So you don't have to worry about, you know, plates flying off or milk falling, anything like that. So even though in my opinion it doesn't look quite as nice, it's not as aesthetically pleasing, uh, I do like this table system better than the pedestal. Um, you, will, whoops, you will also see right over here there's an electrical outlet. So if you need to uh, do any work while you're sitting there, tablet, laptop, something like that, you have access to that. And 
easy access to the storage underneath. You can just swing that right open. While we're taking a look here, you will also notice the vinyl weave that they use in the Mallard. This is wonderful because it cleans up very easily. So, you know, I keep using the grandkids for an example, but whatever it may be, hey, maybe it's you. Maybe you're eating some ice cream or spaghetti and you slop it everywhere. You know, I slurping up a noodle and it's all over your shirt and all over the furniture and the floor, they drop a meatball, whatever. Um, the cool thing about this flooring is it is easy to clean up and it doesn't stain easily. And also you have the uh, kind of like the, the vinyl on the bottom of the seat here too. So both your upholstery as well as the flooring is easy to clean around the table. And that's, you know, for me again, that's a big plus. Maybe you spill red wine. Maybe that's more accurate. I, I don't know. Making our way up front though, the bedroom, this is another big selling feature of the Mallard and that's the fact you have a king size bed. Uh, this is one of those things folks where, you know, if this is a big deal to you, if a king size bed is a selling point, um, there aren't a ton of travel trailers that have king size beds. So what I definitely recommend is you're gonna wanna text the keyword fresh to 46642. When you text that word, uh, that will let us know that you're interested in one of the over 100,000 pieces of inventory we have on the lot and on the order. And we will help you navigate, right? We'll help you narrow down the models available that have a king bed, right? If that's one of those things, or maybe, you know, it has to have a U-shaped dinette. Maybe you love everything about this, but you know, you want a different dinette. Well, we know if A, it has an option for it, or B, other RVs that may meet the needs that you want. So if, if you're looking for something, if you're interested, I'm telling you, uh, let me let you know a little secret, right? I said this a few weeks ago and, and it still holds true. Most people think that the RVing season is like from March to August or September. And while yes, that is when most people are out, are out RVing, any veteran RVer, anyone that's been out there and doing it knows that you know January, February is the time to get out. That's the time to buy your supplies. That's the time to get RVs because otherwise it's going to be gone. If you're waiting until you know uh, July 4th or June and you think you're gonna get out there and get the RV, the exact RV you want, chances are it's not gonna happen, folks. Um, you know, I don't think it's, it's a huge secret that the, the demand for RVs right now is extremely high. So if you wanna make sure that you get the RV that you want, I'm telling you, make sure you text FRESH to 46642 so that you can get the exact one you want. And maybe this is it. Maybe the Mallard 260 with the king bed in here and all the storage and that huge bathroom in the back and the TV hookup up front here. Maybe that's the one you want and that's great because folks, this one, is starting at $27,995 for the show, which is as little as $6.92 a day, which is a phenomenal price for what you're getting. So if it's just the two of you, and you're like, Ian, this is the one, well, good news, because as of right now, we have a few in stock. Now, let's talk a little bit about some of the outside features. And you know what, we'll, we'll go up front, and then we'll make our way back. I, I always like to start up front, I don't know. I don't know if I'm slightly OCD or what it is, but I have this order I like to go in, right? Um, so as we make our way up front here, <laughs> sorry, one of my guys was about to get picked up on camera and just spun away. It was pretty impressive. Anyway, um, right here is a power tongue jack. So, you know, nice and easy to hook up and disconnect. Has a light at night. You can see it's starting to get a little bit darker out right now. So that light's starting to show up real well. You have two uh, 20 pound propane tanks. You have the diamond plating up front there. Uh, fully insulated uh, underbelly, right? Fully enclosed, heated, and insulated, so you can do some of that camping in the colder season. Three-quarter front cap on here, which is beautiful. Kind of have like that faux window in the front, which I love that look. The LED lights, King Kong size storage, huge storage door right there, folks. Maybe not so much on the other side. We call that a, a mini Kong, a, a Diddy Kong, if you will. But uh, this right here, you know, you have lights in there. You have plenty of space. I mean, you can fit all sorts of stuff in there. You know, if, if you want to throw a pool noodle in there, sure, you can do it, but you got room for big chairs, grills, everything else. Your power stabilizer jack controls are in there. You have two inch thick uh, walls on here, fully, uh, um, sorry, fully laminated, excellent construction. You can see the wide axle or spread axle giving you great towability, electrical outlet. The more ride step above steps, black tank flush right back here. Asdell, that's a big one. Rather than Luan, it uses Asdell. Folks, there are so many things on here, I just don't have time. I'm telling you, if you're interested, you're thinking about getting an RV, simply text that keyword FRESH to 46642. Fresh. Fresh, fresh. Heartland has RVs to help everyone launch their life's journeys. All new designs and floor plans provide choices for every type of camper. Whether you're a solo RVer, a family, 
a retiree, or something in between. Come find your perfect model. Because buying a Heartland should feel like you're joining our family. So let's hit the road and enjoy life's great adventures together. With the Camping World Best Price Guarantee, we'll beat any competitor price by $500 guaranteed or write you a check for $1,000. I will never lose a deal over price, ever, and I guarantee it. Learn more today at CampingWorld.com. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching. I'm still having fun from the trivia contest that we had a little bit ago. That was so fun. Sorry, Jurgies. You listen. had to go down at some point and lose. Yeah. Yeah. And listen, in my heart, I didn't, though. You're you know, still in my heart, I did not. So I'm yeah, the, totally winner. The best way to get over, though, is by giving away, you know? You know what? Ultimate giveaways are what we're all about. We keep talking about it. If you haven't registered yet, it's simple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yes, yes, it is. <laughs> all you got to do, you guys, is just text URVS to 46642, and you'll be registered for the show, and you can win one of these puppies. All right, Sean Parr with the Jurgies. Bryce, Nelly, let's give it away. Bryce, Steel. go ahead. Oh, man. It, this is a 49cc scooter, all right? 50 miles a gallon, way better than our uh, truck that's towing our rig. And uh, this thing is awesome. So the winner for this, Cindy wrote... Woo! Cindy wrote, you decided Woo! to register. You got dialed in. Now you can put this bad boy, get your hog on there, and bam, you're all get over your town. Hog. And you know what? <laughs> Seriously, it is I'm great for tooling off. around. It's nice and comfortable. It's safe. Put a little grocery thing on the back if you want to make a what run about another human, down to the right? local market yeah, and can, uh, head back to the campgrounds can I fit because on this we make it and we make it easy. Listen. We are having a ball. Go. I can't believe this is week six already of the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. And we have seen some amazing fresh from the factory vehicles and 2021s that have these floor models that everybody is getting so excited about. Look what you're doing here. I'm just ready. Like, is this, can we, t can we have one? Like, Absolutely. You can take off in this. See, it comfortably fits too. <laughs> she does. It's great. Good yeah. for couples to tool around, say hi to the neighbors. Yep. You Cindy, know. so you can take someone on this with you. So Always wear your helmet. Safety first is what we're all about. Absolutely. And we're going to jump into this one right here. This is going to be the Jayco Whitehawk. And awesome. when you see the extra counter space, you're going to love it. Ian, what do you got for us? So if you're sick of rear baths, maybe you want a rear kitchen. Well, uh, like all good things, you're going to wait a little bit because we're going to start outside this one. There are some things I have to hit before we get in there. But folks, this is the Jayco Whitehawk 26RK. Great floor plan. We'll get in there in just a second. But again, I want to start out here. So power tongue jack, making it easy to hook up, disconnect. You have a light right there. You have your propane tanks with a cover, space for your batteries right here. And of course, your diamond etch plating coming up the front. Now, because it's a Jayco, you have that integrated A-frame. It is a BAL huck bolt frame as well. Definitely some good advantages to that. Uh, you know, it's easier to repair if there's ever damage and it's been shown that it's less likely to start uh, rusting because the number one spot rust starts is at weld points. Limiting those weld points hopefully will help reduce a chance of rust. But that integrated frame will also help make sure that this doesn't buckle up on you, which is always a good thing. And then right here, I love this. Not only is this a three quarter front cap with LED lights, but more importantly, this one has a gorgeous front windshield on there. I love it. Let's in a ton of natural light. Looks great. Daytime, nighttime, doesn't matter. It's always looking good. Something you'll see right here is you have slam latch baggage doors. It's also magnetic catch, so you can just put it up and forget it. So if the grandkids come by and they're like, oh no, you're not gonna have to worry about a plastic tab or anything breaking off, right? Trust me, I've seen it happen. You don't want it to happen. Magnetic catches, you are good. Take a look in that pass-through. Big pass-through on the other side. There's a battery disconnect. Not sure if you can see it, but it is there. You also have an electrical outlet right here, which is super handy and Tire pressure monitor, folks. That's what you know. What the number one reason for tire blowouts is under-inflated tires. You want to make sure you're running the proper pressure 
for the weight and you have to include what you're packing in it. If you're putting 1,200 pounds in here, you have to account for that. Also take a look at this, you have a table, you can just pull that sucker out, set it up right out here. It's great to have an outside table, whether you just want it for extra food or I don't know, playing games or something on it, there it is. Another big feature right here is you have side camera prep, not just backup camera, but side camera too. So that way, as you're switching lanes, you can make sure you're seeing what's on the side of you so you're not, uh, you know, not having any blind spot issues and hitting anyone. You'll see frameless windows on here, great upgrade. Not only do they look way nicer, but also because of the way they tilt open, you can have them open while it's raining. You can get some airflow through there, but all the rain's not coming in. Plus it helps protect the seals because they're right behind that glass. Double entry on this one. This one's into the bedroom, so this will be your secondary entry. So you have your fold out steps, but take a look at that. They're aluminum still, so you don't have to worry about any kind of rusting. You got grip tape, a little bit smaller grab handle. You'll have a bigger one on the main entry in the back. Also a window on the door, just so, you, just so everyone knows at home, this does cost more money to put a window in there. The great thing about it though is it also brings in more light and that in conjunction with that front windshield really helps brighten up that, uh, that front bedroom if you, know, you don't want to try to sleep in. <laughs> uh, right up top, you can see the power awning with an LED light, touch a button to roll that out, same thing to go right back in. Couple of outside speakers there. And one of my favorite parts, again, on a couple's model, a lot of times it's hard to get an outside kitchen, but right here, you're good to go. You have metal countertops, so they're easy to clean off. You can see electrical outlets on both sides right there. Pull this guy out, take a look at this. How cool is this, right? Your faucet is up top, very unique layout right here. This is just nice little uh, rinse bin, a little uh, wash bin, cutting board, right? Prep space right here too. And then over to this side, Capital Grill. I don't know about you folks, but I tend to do a lot more grilling outside than I do with a cooktop, so I love that this is here. And my favorite feature, even though it probably costs like, I don't know, 25 cents, is a bottle opener. Because right here, I'm gonna have a bunch of bottles. I wanna take it out, I wanna pop it open, and I'm gonna be throwing a couple back, and that right there lets me do it. You can see underneath, you have the uh, widespread axles, so the axles are further apart, helping to reduce sway. Um, another big one is you have uh, upgraded tires. You have American tires on there and you have Dexter axles and those are going to be uh, one easy lube, but two, you will have the never adjust brakes, meaning just like the name implies, you don't have to adjust the brakes. One of those maintenance things a lot of people forget to do and you won't have to worry about it. Power stabilizer jacks, your main entrance here you will see has aluminum steps with treads on there. Also the grab handle helping you get inside. We'll go inside in just a moment. I do wanna to touch on a few things in the back here first. Rear mounted ladder to climb up onto the, the uh, fully walkable roof there. You'll also see backup camera prep as we mentioned and your spare tire right there is going to be covered up and in great shape. Now I know you're dying to get inside, right? See this rear kitchen, see what it's all about. So let's check it's out and here we go so again if you're done with the rear baths you want something a little bit different a rear kitchen is another great option when we're talking about couples models and you can see that you know just like the name implies you have a kitchen in the back so with countertop space here you'll see you get this little pop-up guy so that way you have a little bit of extra countertop because some rear kitchens and there's a lot of different floor plans out there um, you know, some rear kitchens will run, you know, halfway down the wall, wrap all the way around, you know, have more countertop over here. I mean, you can have six cooks in the kitchen still cooking. Uh, this one, not quite as much. Your main prep space will be right here where you have the recessed cooktop with the glass cover. Now, we'll see in a second, this one definitely makes up for a little bit smaller kitchen by having a huge entertainment space. But again, they are all very different. And that's why I, I keep telling, you know, throughout all these streams from week to week with the, the Ultimate RV Show, I keep telling everyone, folks, if, if you're starting to get into things, right, you're wondering, well, okay, you know, this is what I need, need this, 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 and this. Let us help you out. All you have to do is just text FRESH to 46642. And the reason it's fresh is because we have over 80 thousand units that are factory fresh on order coming from the factory every single day you want to make sure that we're able to help you we'll get you all the different rear kitchen models all the different couples models uh, whatever it may be that you're looking for let us help you out again all you have to do is text that keyword we'll get you rocking and rolling now as i said this particular one right here you will see the upgraded countertops the recessed stainless steel sink right there double bowl right you have the high-rise pull-down faucet here as well uh, is that a, all right, I, I, I don't know if it's an optical illusion. I feel like it's a 60-40 bowl. I don't think it's an even split. I could be wrong, but um, 
gosh, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm losing my mind, guys. I don't even know. Anyway, uh, it's a stainless steel bowl, right? It's undermounted. It's, it's great. It, it, uh, well, it's easy to clean. With it's a modern cut, so you can put things all the way around in there. Anyway. 60-40, I, I don't know. Anyway, right up top, you'll see good storage all the way across. You have glass inserts, which I do enjoy that. I think it helps break up the wood look a little bit. But also in this one, you'll see you have that cottage white interior that Jayco is so well known for. You can see that kind of running all along the back. Now, you'll notice in a minute when we get into the main living space that the wood darkens up a little bit, changes a little bit. But I love how bright and airy it is and fresh uh, feeling it is, you know, clean feeling right back here in the kitchen. Good storage for pots and pans there. Also, you can have a nice deep drawer there. It's easy to get to. Your fridge freezer is a Norcold. It runs off both propane and electric. Big super slide right here with the dinette. Now underneath the dinette, you will notice you have some auxiliary lighting. Looks pretty sharp. Easy to access the storage as well. Just open that up. Good to go theater seating over to this side with uh, plenty of cup holders in there. And these, of course, do recline. Windows all the way around. Excellent lighting throughout here, too. Now, you have great lighting in the slide. But if you take a look at the ceiling, you'll see you have a skylight helping to bring natural light in and two rows of LED lights making sure that everything in here is nice and bright, whether it is day or night. Man, I'm rapping. I tell you what. I'm, but this week, you know, I'm just singing all the songs. We're, we're hitting sea shanties. I'm hitting poems. Man, what's next? A little country music, right? Bring me back to Houston, maybe? All right. If we do, take a look straight across from uh, the theater seats, you will see the entertainment center. So the TV right there in the center, storage all the way around here. Uh, this does swing open as well. I do want to point that out. Now, the big one, the, the big importance for that for me, right? You can put whatever you want back there, but for me, this gives you a good spot to put some of your auxiliary equipment. If you have uh, a Blu-ray player that you want in here, that you have a place to put it. And a lot of times you don't get that. So uh, I do love that that is back there. You will also see your multimedia center here. It does have a Blu-ray player already hooked up. So you can, or sorry, a DVD player already hooked up. So you can use that. But again, if you want the Blu-ray, uh, you have a spot to put it. But again, plenty of storage. Fireplace right down below. Electrical outlet on the side if you need to plug anything in. I love the fireplace. Mine doesn't look nice, folks. But more importantly is that that is a great space heater. Now, let's walk up front a little bit, right? So one of the things you will notice, and this is generally a make it or break it for a lot of people, and that is a pass-through bathroom. So this is a, uh, an RV built for two, meaning that they don't expect you to have, you know, a lot of kids a lot or a ton of guests. And so a walk-through bathroom makes more sense. The reason people kind of sometimes can be turned off by it is because if this door is shut, you're usually uh, closed off. But remember, you have a second entrance into that bath or into the bedroom, which is why that second entrance is so important. Because uh, with this walk-through bathroom, you're not trapped. You can still get to both sides of the RV. So if that's normally one of those things where you're like, I don't want to walk through bathroom. Well, now you understand that even though it's a walk-through, this RV right here still makes it work. Mirrored medicine cabinet, that's backlit. Nice big sink. As for the shower, again, I can fully stand in here. No issues whatsoever. That skylight gives me tons of room. Again, I'm six foot tall. You have the doors in the roller tracks. The water goes right down into the shower pan. Over to the side, take a look at some of this storage. Fritz, can you show everyone all the storage in here? If you can sneak your way in. You can see all the storage right there. So big linen closet here. There's more storage there. Mirrors all around. Porcelain bowl down below for your toilet, right? So it's going to stay nice and clean. It's also very easy to, uh, to sit there. I mean, I have plenty of space when I sit down, both for my legs and for my shoulders. Now, when I come right up into the bedroom, I will say, you're probably not going to be able to see it, but there is storage right over here to the side. You have big wardrobe space plus a bunch of drawers. And the reason for that is because, well, you don't have huge wardrobes on the sides. They make up for it by giving it to you right at the foot of the bed. You also have these, uh, what I like to call mood lights, right? You know, you can see the, the blue mood lights in here. You're trying to set the mood. That's a great way to do it. It's just the two of you, right? Um, now, you can turn these into reading lights as well if you want. Uh, but, you know, the blue lights are, I don't know, they're blue lights. Right in the center is that big windshield or that window we saw when we were outside. And as I mentioned, that lets in a lot of natural light, which I love. Plus, you have the windows here and the one in the door. If you want TV in here, you're good to go. You can see that you have a spot for a TV right there as well. Now, folks, 
Uh, you know, as I mentioned, you know, if you're looking for an RV, you want to make sure you're going to get one. You're going to want to text that fresh to 46642. If this one is the one that you're looking for, then you're going to want to text RV to 46642. And you can take advantage of the great show pricing, which this one is starting at $36,995 or as little as $8.86 a day. And I'm telling you, folks, if you think you have a better deal than that, then all you have to do is text the word BEAT because if we can't beat that deal, whatever deal you may have, which I know we can, but if we can't, we'll give you a thousand bucks straight in your pocket. Ian, thank you so much. Sean Parr with the Flip and Tilbys. How does it feel to be standing on the stage, your first time hosting a weekend with us here on the Ultimate RV Show National Tour as champions? Woohoo! <laughs> you know, just to beat anybody would be really cool, but. But the Jurgies. To be able to top the Jurgies of all people. And you know what's great is you guys have, you've known the Jurgies. Uh, Renee, you and uh, Nelly go back to when you were in seventh grade, right? No, I think we were seven years old. Oh, seven years seven old. Seven years Even old. Even better, my yeah. goodness. But the great thing about it is now we're getting ready to go into some fifth wheels and we're going back to the Heartland Fuels. You guys know everything there is to know about few, uh, fifth wheels. And I love that you flip the fifth wheels to give it the before and the after. Renee, you were showing me some pictures today. Yeah, on our Instagram, we have a lots of uh, befores and afters. And we really love taking something and making it beautiful and customizing it for our needs or our customers' needs. But the great thing about Camping World is you can text the experts at 46642 and you can ask them what your specific needs are and ask if they have it. So if you don't like, if you want a half bath, if you want the mid bunk, whatever, you sure. can get things moved around. And so it's really fantastic to have that option of and flexibility. We make it simple. Just text RV to 46642. And let's do this. Let's check in with Chris right now and take a look at that Heartland Fuel 305. What do you got for us, Chris? Ultimate RV Show National Tour. It's all about the Heartlands in this section. Heartland has been making RVs for quite a while. They have everything from small travel trailers to large fifth wheel toy haulers and pretty much everything in between. They're well-built, budget-conscious, bang-for-your-buck RVs. And if you're a family, a couple, adventurous couple, large family, no matter what it is, you've been thinking about getting out and seeing America the safest way possible, dipping your toe into the RV water, maybe for the first time buying an RV. This segment will hopefully help you out. Find one that will fit your lifestyle and your budget. What's up? It's Chris Young. I am sitting inside the Fuel 305. Now, this is a travel trailer toy hauler. And Harlan has been selling these bad boys for a minute. This one sleeps seven, roughly 8,600 pounds, 35 feet, 11 inches in weight or in, in length. And you got a 98-gallon fresh tank, 60-gallon gray, 30-gallon black, all starting at $45,995 or as low as $11.01 a day. Now, the thing I like about the 305 is the versatility, which you get with toy haulers. This is a high-profile travel trailer, so you're going to get a lot of ceiling height, but that allows us to really have extended cabinetry and extended storage that you're going to find all the way throughout this 305. But more importantly than that, here in the garage space, now you'll see we have the carpet kind of semi-rolled up with the tables that are used for both the entertainment area and the dining area latched up and laced right here. But we got my garage door, my AKA party deck, because these doors right here are, or these guards right here, are actually the suspension guards that go around the outside of the party deck. When it's set up as the party deck, 1,500 pound capacity. When it's lowered down as the ramp, 3,500 pound capacity. Come up the dovetail into a 15 foot garage. Now, you'll see that we have the D rings strategically located all the way throughout this RV, but it also comes into the living space. So, if you've been looking for a toy hauler, but something that, you know, hey, Chris, you know, it was more of we just want something to entertain and enjoy, and we need to sleep a lot of people. This is your area because take the garage out and look at the entertainment space that we have here. You got marine grade crack resistant flooring that's also easy to clean. I mean, when it gets dirty, you just sweep it out. Well, the best thing, you can just hose it down. It's marine grade. It's a garage floor, but it's still decorative and appealing. Over here, giant panoramic window seated behind two removable, comfy captain's chairs that are also recliners. I was kind of kicked back reading up a little bit and like, whoa, I might kind of knock off for a little bit. So I sent Kev on down the road to get some lunch while I fell asleep and took a nap. It's easy to do right here. Now imagine if you were pulled up to the bottom of a mountain or you were seated outside of a lake and you had the cross breeze going 
Maybe the sunset was going down. You got this awesome JBL system right here that just kicks out the power and the sound. Has those wonderful lights. I mean, this thing is awesome. I'm not going to crank it up and blow the power out on you. But the speakers that are in this are fantastic. Bluetooth enabled dual zone and loud, fun, gives you some entertaining. And you could use this area as your dance hall right there. Love it. Storage space up top and in here. You got a 10 cubic foot fridge freezer combo, Dometic, that runs on both gas and electric right there. Got my TV up top on an angle, so no matter where I'm sitting, whether it's in the captain's chairs or the jackknife sofa over here, I can watch and entertain. This also lifts up to get out of the way if you need to store it for the garage. Frosted glass inlays right here and over here. I mean, just good, stylish functional with numerous options as far as entertaining and space. Plastic bowl with the foot flush here in the pass-through bathroom. I got the solid surface countertop right here. I got the sink with the decorative style faucet. And yes, don't worry about it. I'm going to get to the kitchen here too in a minute. We're going to come back out through the garage after we go through the master. Something that you won't find in a lot of uh, travel trailers you know, at this price point is this Neo angled single surround shower. Look at the space that I have in here. Now with those extra high ceilings here, the full profile, you know, obviously you got plenty of headroom. You're not going to be cramped left to right or up and down in there, but having that Neo angle really gives you the feeling of having more space. Coming to the master king size bed. Got me some storage underneath led reading lights. My genset controls right there because this does have a Cummins Onan generator on it. Mirrored ward storage on both sides, including drawers that slide all the way out and wireless charging station over here on the off camp side. If you got those QI enabled phones, you got uh, the wireless charging stations only on one side, but you got power on both sides and access point into the master. So you don't have to come into the garage to get to the rest of the RV. You got your access point right here. Now, this is the 2021 Heartland Fuel 305, and this is funny. This thing regularly, 63,119. But do you remember what I told you it was just a few minutes ago with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour? 45,995, as low as $11.01 a day. 35 feet long, roughly 8,600 pounds dry, can sleep seven. For 11 bucks a day, my finance people keep saying we're going to add that 11 Eleven dollars and one cent. We're gonna throw Chris off. You know what? Knock the penny off. Eleven dollars. Eleven dollars a day. Make him pull the hair out right now. Look at him out there dancing around, shucking and jiving. Why is Chris taking money off this camper when we already got it lowered down for the Ultimate RV Show National Tour? It's because I'm going crazy to give you these deals. We have to. So many people are experiencing the RV lifestyle. They're figuring out that toy haulers offer so much functionality, so much fun. They have so much good insulation, height, airflow. I mean, you got a 15,000 BTU AC, 35,000 BTU furnace. You got, this is a toy hauler. So it has a gas tank on it. It has a generator on it. You want to go off grid and go off grid for a hot minute? You can do it with a toy hauler. That's what's great about them. And starting at $45,995 or as low as $11.01 a day, that's a steal of a deal. Steal of a deal for solid wood cabinetry. Asdell backing on the walls. Hey, Chris, what's Asdell? Uh, well, at first, I thought it was like one of them biblical characters, but it turns out that it's actually a graphite composite that's behind the walls that allows us to have better insulation inside these RVs. Asdell is water resistant, mold and mildew resistant, lightweight, and there's no off gassing on it either, so you don't have that Luan or Luan uh, backing here. It's not wood, it's graphite and fiberglass. Love it. So, we come out the garage entrance. Beautiful fiberglass side walls on these. Large awning with the LED scare lights and floodlights. Sealed safety glass all the way around. Come around to the back. And I like, you see how the back kind of juts out a little bit over the party deck? I like that. That just helps with the aerodynamic moving up and down the road. I got my backup camera set up there. My three inch nozzles. Enclosed underbelly on this one. Here's my fuel station. 30-gallon gas tank on here. 
satellite cable connections, worm groove for the slides, city water connection, and a Onan Cummins 4,000 watt generator right here. That, sure, for a toy hauler, that's a great bonus because they don't need to put a generator in there. They do because, A, it's a toy hauler. You think it should come standard, but it, it, it shouldn't really come standard. I think it's just an awesome feature to have because even if you don't bring toys, this allows you to extend that camping season on into, you want to dry dock for a week? You got a generator. Run the AC. You got a fuel station back there. You can come back and refuel it. You got solar panels to keep your batteries charging. You got your 10 amp quick connect right there for your solar panels. Got twin 30 pound LP tanks up front plus a powered tongue jack, single welded powder coated aluminum or uh, automotive grade eye beam, eye beam frame under this beauty. And look at the painted fiberglass end cap right here with the running lights, aggressive profile, automotive coated too, so that when it's going down the road, you get less wind resistance, less drag. I mean, the fuels, they pack a whole lot of features into an RV that some of them twice the price don't have. Ladder to get on top. And we're going to finish over here on the campsite with where the fun would happen if you set this up as kind of an RV to go do some tailgating. We got the dual zone speakers in there. Now, you didn't get a chance to hear that JBL entertainment system that's on the inside, but these puppies thump. We were in there. We had a little dance party with the strobe light going. I had my bell bottoms rocking. It was a good old time. But right out here, you could do the same thing. Dual zone speakers, marine grade, adjustable pitch on the Solera awning, black tank flush. Got my mounting bracket for my TV right here, cable connection and power. So if we want to tailgate, set up some entertainment, go to town. This is a double axle RV too. So you'll see we got the nitro filled tires, 15 inch aluminum rims, which means you're not going to rust. And this special suspension right here is going to help absorb the shocking, the rocking back and forth when you're going down the road. You're not going to have that as much when you're traveling down. You need to stay connected while you're on the road. We got Wi-Fi, 4G, LTE prep ready to get the booster installed. You can even start your own internet if you get the WineGuard Connect. There's a lot of features that you can get both inside and outside of your RV. That's why we have people standing by right now to help you out. 150 locations, some of the best people on the planet standing by to help you out, to get a hold of them, because you say, Chris, I like this 305. You know, I mean, we're not really looking for a toy hauler, but you know, we need something with bunks, blah, 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 whatever. Okay, sure, we got over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming. Over 20,000 on the line already. You want to get in on it? Drop me a comment down below, fresh or text fresh to 46642. Now, if you're just hard up for this 305 and you got to have it right now, you're saying, I want this in my driveway as quick as humanly possible. Chris, can I get it tonight? Yes, you can. We can even have it delivered to you. You don't have to leave the comfort of your home or your camp chair to get the paperwork the whole night. All you got to do to get in on this one, Harlan Fuel 305, sleep seven, roughly 8,600 pounds, 35 feet long, starts at $45,995 or as low as $11.01 a day. Just drop me a comment down below, RV or text RV to 46642. Now, the Ultimate RV Show National Tour is all over the country. We got 10 weeks of showing you some of the best RVs we can put our hands on. We won't get a chance to show you everything. The competition might jump up and say, hey, Chris, we uh, you know, want to uh, try to beat that deal. You know, so I'm gonna go to the competition. I'm gonna see what they can do. Well, I mean, you can also take an accordion player on the deer hunt if you want to, accomplish the same thing. But we'll beat any deal, guaranteed. Just drop beat down below or text beat to 46642. We'll beat the deal, we'll give you a thousand bucks in cash, guaranteed. We got more Heartlands as the Ultimate RV Show National Tour rolls on. Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world. Fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. Hey folks, I'm Ian Baker, and today it's becoming more and more important to stay connected on the road. Whether you're working on the road, or you're doing schooling from the road, or maybe you just want to watch your favorite show, well, there's a couple different ways to do it. 
So one of the first things I always think about when I think of staying connected on the road is making sure you have the ability to make phone calls as well as internet. And that's what we have right here. This is a LTE cell phone signal booster. And essentially, this will do a couple different things for you. One is if you have Wi-Fi wherever you're staying, but, you know, at your campground, this will boost that signal. The other thing it's going to do for you, or sorry, it will extend that signal, right? Give you more range throughout, but it'll also boost the signal. So you have a stronger signal inside the RV. And that's going to be important because you don't want, you know, to have your face interrupt and stall in the middle of a Zoom call. This will help prevent that from happening. Another thing that we talk about is television, right? TV. So when you're on the road, we have a couple different ways to do that. You will either have your standard um, dish or your over-the-air receiver here, or you will have a satellite dish. So with this one, this one is the WineGuard Air 360. The thing I really like about this is not only is it an antenna, but it also has your 4G LTE capability built in. So if you want to be able to get internet and you don't want something like the booster, you can use this one right here. It will give you those local channels. You can also sign up for that 4G LTE plan, and that's a pay-by-the-go plan, or pay-as-you-go plan. So, you know, if you don't want to sign up for a whole month, something like this gets you one month at a time rather than a whole year. Um, this one also has GPS. If you use it with this router, it will help you locate devices. So if you lose your phone inside your RV, this will help you locate it. Another good option for staying connected, of course, is satellite. It's something that's become very popular. Uh, there are a lot of different antennas out there. What I always tell people is make sure you come on in, ask us. We have experts standing by to make sure you get the right one, whether it's going to be on DISH Network, uh, whether it's going to be on uh, you know, whatever other satellite you may have. We want to make sure we get you the right one, especially if it's in motion. And we'll have something like this right here. This is really cool because what this does, it's actually wireless. So you can use one satellite and be able to hook up two different TVs with this guy right here without having to drag an HDMI cable all the way through your RV. It's one of those things that oftentimes you just don't think about. But with this, it just may, uh, really simplifies and makes things a lot easier. So no matter what you're looking to do to stay connected, whether it's just for the phone, if it's for the internet, if it's for TV, if it's for satellite, we have solutions at Camping World and Gander RV. You're going to want to make sure you come on in. We have great pricing, especially during the show right now. And as I mentioned, our experts will take great care of you, make sure we get you the products you need for your specific needs, whether that may be schooling, work, or again, just to be able to watch your favorite show. More, co more coming up next. With the Camping World Best Price Guarantee, we'll beat any competitor price by $500 guaranteed or write you a check for $1,000. I will never lose a deal over price, ever, and I guarantee it. Learn more today at CampingWorld.com. Travel with peace of mind. Good Sam Roadside Assistance covers your cars, RVs, motorcycles, and all eligible family members. Unlike the competition, we offer unlimited distance towing, free roadside tire delivery, and coverage in all of North America. It's no wonder top consumer reviews ranked us number one. With plans as low as $5.50 a month, you can't afford to get stuck without it. It's all about the Heartlands right here with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. What's up? It's Chris Young standing on the back of one of the shortest travel trailer toy haulers that Heartland makes. This is the Fuel 250. Now, with Heartland, you have everything, stem to stern. They've been making RVs for years, and they've been flying off the shelves, unlike the competition. That's what they'll do to you. Now, with the Heartlands, you got some bang for your buck. You got features you're not going to find in a lot of RVs, but some quality construction as well. So if you've been thinking about dipping your toe into the water, getting into the RV game, maybe looking entry level style, this is a segment that's really going to help you out. Right here, the back of the Fuel 250. Now, this is one, since it is small, you're talking about only 27 feet, 6 inches, roughly 6,700 pounds dry, but can still sleep six people comfortably. 98 gallon fresh tank, 57 gallon gray, 30 gallon black tank. You still have the versatility of enjoying options with toy haulers. That's why I like them. They're not just for toys. They're for entertaining and enjoying the space while you're out. We got the eight foot ramp door here. Obviously, you got the reinforcement there on the floor. 3,500 pound max capacity when you want to load your toys in. This one has a 13 foot garage, but it does go into the living area space, which I'll show you here in a minute. But I like how we have the drops here. This is fabric, but it gives you the option of having the tent privacy, you can do just the mesh if you want to have like a screened in patio or if you want to completely close it off, check it out. You got the options to do 
either or, which is great because if you want to sit up and get the sun shade, but you still want to catch some breeze, lift up the back panel, just Velcro down one side, and it's going to stay in place. When you're ready to go, load your toys in, roll it all the way up. You got the heavy duty nylon straps to make sure everything stays into place. Come up the dovetail into the garage and you're gonna see some marine grade flooring that is crack resistant, easy to clean, slip resistant, and reinforced not only with insulation, but with strength. Because when you come in here, you think, all right, well, Chris, it's a living area, but it's also a garage. Yes, you'll see I got my, you know, D-rings there, 5,000 pound capacity on each one as far as strength, so you really got some strength to keep everything tied down. But, you know, do you want to clean it up? It's literally as easy as taking a water hose and just spraying everything down. Because this is marine grade plyboard. Absolutely love this. Now, when I talk about options, functionality, giving you some different things you can do inside your RV, Toy haulers, yes, when you want to bring your toys with you, they are the only thing that you have. But that's not all that they're good for. As you can see, I got my opposing couches right here. I'm, I got my foot resting on the table, which is strapped down, because when you buy a toy hauler, you get the carpet. If you want to make this into a carpeted area, a livable space. You also get the table, which is removable. I like that because you're not set to just one spot for your dinette. If you want to eat right here, if you want to eat at the captain's chair, if you want to eat outside, you can move the table around. That is versatility that cannot be beat when it comes to toy haulers. When you're ready to set it up as a bed, just fold this over both sides. And there you go. Now, I didn't put the legs down, which is why that fell down. But boom, I got myself a full-size bed here, full-size bed coming down here. Can easily sleep four people, which is why this one can sleep up to six. Now, if you were looking at a regular RV, non-toy non hauler, this would be all the space you had. You're looking at maybe a two-sleeper. But if you've been thinking about, we need something roughly 6,700 pounds, can sleep six people, and as a toy hauler, gives me the option to haul in those toys, starting at $38,995 or as low as $9.34 a day. This Fuel F-250 is right up your alley. Got to check it out. Over here on the off-camp side, I got my kitchen. Large stainless steel sink undermounted with the high-rise faucet. This is a pot and pan sink because you got plenty of room in there. Plus, you got the angled edges to help all the water run down to the gray tank. Plenty of space. Oh, solid hardwood cabinetry. Hideaway hinges. I mean, Heartland really upgraded the features with you know pretty much all their lines in 2021. And the fuels, I mean, you can't beat them. Especially if you're looking for bang for your buck, man. This is where it's at. I got the large flat screen TV, more storage here. I got the speakers mounted in the roof right beside my 15,000 BTU air conditioner and my ceiling fan with LED accent light. Vent fan right beside it. 10 cubic foot Dometic fridge freezer combo. Runs on both gas and electric. Plus, you got the flush-mounted cooktop right here with the glass cover, LED accent light. It works well as a nightlight. Got my little oven right there, so if I want to cook me up some whatever, maybe bake some shrinky dinks. You absolutely kind of love talking about the shrinky dinks because we went camping one time, and that's what my kids wanted to do when it started raining. I had not even thought about shrinky dinks since I was a kid. My kids saw them in one of the drawers. My wife bought them. I didn't even know she got them. And that's what they did. Three, four hours. They sat there drawing handprints and stuff, made shrinky dinks. We gave them to the grandparents as Christmas gifts. We created multiple memories on a camping trip. Just saying it happens. You can do it easily. Got the vents right here. So if you need to get some vintage for your garage, got them right there. Furion AM FM Command Center with USB, dual zone, and Bluetooth. So you can play the music inside or out. We're going to walk down into the bathroom right now, which is a pass-through, giving us more separation of space because if you have the garage there, you really don't want the smells and everything coming down. But if somebody has to use a restroom, maybe they're sleeping on the beds in the back, they can come use the restroom without messing you up in here in your master. Standalone sink right here. I like that. Got the decorative medicine cabinet right here. Now, these fuels are all high-profile travel trailers, so you're going to have lots of headroom, lots of airspace, lots of storage. That's pretty much a standard when it comes to the Heartland Fuel. Single surround shower right here with my corner notches. And my pass-through into the master with a king-size bed. Storage underneath. 
Look at it, Kev. Look at it. Right there. Drop the king size bed down. I'm gonna move out the way so Kev can see the rest. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got my Cummins gen set controls over there. So if I want to cut my generator on, I can. Dual USB charging port, side opening, hard, solid wood, beautiful cabinetry right here. Mirrored ward storage there. Once again, hideaway hinges, solid wood construction, well built, well insulated RVs. Got me a little nightstand, power ports on both sides. Oh, hey, hey, Kev, I just locked you in. How do you feel about that? You're going to stay here as a matter of fact. Yeah, no, you're staying in there, Kev. It's what you get. Bye. All right, I'm going to let you out now. <laughs> you could have a lot of fun in RVs. That's what I love about these Heartland Fuels. And last but not least, <clears throat> we got the captain's chair right here, which is also a recliner. It's removable. Take this outside and put it under the awning. Have yourself a good night's sleep outside. Why not? Large panoramic window right there to look outside. But 2021 Heartland Fuel F-250 starting at $38,995 or as low as $9.34 a day. Sleep 6, 6,700 pound dry weight, 27 feet, 6 inches long. Versatility, comfort, style, the whole nine. All in one RV that is ready for you or your family. If the campers are rocking, love it. I'm going to lock Kevin in there too. How about that? It's a beautiful thing. Fiberglass sidewalls. It has the Asdale backing. I'm a big fan of when they upgraded to the Asdale because it's a laminated graphite composite that is water resistant, mildew resistant, also doesn't have the off gassing. You got the large awning with the LED light strip underneath. I'll let you out now, Kev. Fold upstairs, extra large grab handle, and check out my 15 inch aluminum rims on these Dexter Easy Lube axles, nitro filled tires. And you see how my suspension right here, I got this extra shock absorber right there. It gives us, gives us a much smoother ride going down the road. Now, if you want to set up some outside entertainment, you can. You got your LCD TV mounting bracket here, cable or satellite connection and power port. And look, this is what I'm talking about. Starts at 53,716, but not during the Ultimate RV Show. This one starts at 38,995, or as low as $9.34 a day. To sleep six, dry weight of 6,700 pounds, 27 feet long. This is one you can't pass up. Plus, we got ourselves some power jacks. There you go. I love it in both the front and the rear. So when you're ready to set up, you don't have to worry about doing all that hand cranking. And for a camper of this length, that's a really nice to have. Backup camera prep, LED floodlights on the back, ladder to help us get up on top and do some RMP. 30 gallon fuel station too on this one. So when you want to run the generator or fuel your toys, you got the option to do that. All my connections right here, my spray port, satellite cable, city water, black tank flush, power connection, and right here. The thing that I think really separates toy haulers from the rest, Cummins Onan generators. 4,000 watt generator on this one. Ready to go, can really extend that camping season and make life so much easier. Come up to the front, diamond plated rock guard on the bottom, twin 30 pound LP tanks, powered tongue jack, Look at that beautiful front cap. Fiberglass molded, painted with automotive coating on it. Looks good doing, going down the road. Plus, it has that aggressive profile. Aggressive profile just means that, <laughs> that, that you'll be able to have less wind resistance while going down the road. It's a beautiful thing. Finished off storage in here with my battery disconnect right there. There's my sprayer nozzle for my spray port. Heated and enclosed underbelly on this one as well. But look, here's the great thing about Heartlands, especially the fuels. They're toy haulers. So if you know toy haulers, you know you got to take your bikes to the track, golf carts, you know, whole night. You know toys. But if you don't know toy haulers, you've been thinking about getting into the RV space. Maybe you're looking for your first one. You say, hey, <clears throat> I need something that's going to give me some extra space to sleep, people. Maybe to entertain. But just give me some options to do what I want to do. Toy haulers are the way to go. This Heartland Fuel 250, 27 feet long, 6,700 pounds dry, is a great option. Starting at $38,995 or as low as $9.34 during the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. So, I know you just woke up and are saying, wait a minute, 
Chris, how can this be possible? Well, it's the ultimate RV show national tour. But if you don't want this specific unit and you're saying, eh, we need X, Y, and Z, we got people standing by. Plus, we've got 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming, over 20,000 on the lot right now. To get in on one of those, have it delivered to you without even leaving your couch, drop me a comment down below. Fresh or text fresh to 46642. I got some more Heartlands coming up as the Ultimate RV Show National Tour continues. Chris, we do have some more Heartlands coming up. Get inside, get warm for about a minute 30, and then yeah, we're going to run you back out there. We'll take a look at that Mallard in just a moment. Ultimate giveaways. That's what this weekend is all about. Somebody's going to win an RV at the end of the day so today. Cool. But right so now, awesome. we have what to give away? Uh, Sean, what do we got? We have three different $50 merch certificates for Camping World. So and awesome. So good. How do you win? You have to be registered. You are VS to 46642. That's what you text. Automatically registered. And once you're in, mm -hmm. you're in for our entire national tour. Nelly, why don't you kick it off? Let's do the first winner. Can I get a drum roll, please? A little <laughs> clap on the knees. Thank you. Thank you. We got Amanda Murray. Amanda Congratulations. Murray. Amanda, Murray. Amanda, Amanda Murray. Murray sounds like a television star on NBC. <laughs> please welcome starring Amanda Murray. Yes, Renee. She won. And then we also have in second place, actually, they're all first place winners, $50 gift card for Stephen Johnson. <laughs> Stephen <laughs> Johnson. <laughs> And in first place. Right. And also in first place, <laughs> Pamela Edmonds. That's awesome. Congratulations. Okay. Yeah, we just gave away not one, not two, but three, three. $50 gift cards. So that would be an ultimate, ultimate, ultimate giveaway. Ooh, Nelly. I like the that sound of awesome. that. All right, time to jump back in to the Heartland <laughs> Mallards. And uh, this is one we see a lot on the road, don't we? So right? many on the road. I think people really like these. All right, so Chris, you warmed up, buddy. Take it away. Let's see this Mallard. It's all about the Heartland Mallards here at the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. Now we get into one of my favorite lines, the Mallards, because it's all about the Heartlands. I threw Mallard in at the beginning, but eh, you're, you're keeping up. So we've seen fuels. Now I want to talk to you about the Mallard. This is a great line of feature-rich, just really strong, really well-made RVs. For example, they got a four-inch fully walkable roof on this. You got two-inch thick foam core lamination, not to mention the Asdale backing, which we'll talk a little bit more when we get outside. Insulation all the way around this RV. Lightweight, feature-packed, residential, beautiful, and one of the best-selling travel trailers for the families that are looking to upgrade the camping experience. The one that I'm in right now, 36 feet long, roughly 7,000 pounds dry. That's it. Can easily sleep nine people. A great bunk model with a super slide housing, the jackknife, or excuse me, the pullout sofa, and the U-shaped dinette. I'm going to start right back here in the bunks with this beautiful Heartland Mallard M312. Now, this one starts at $30,995, or as low as $7.42 a day. That's it. Feature-packed mallards, trust me, everything from the solid hardwood cabinetry to the upgraded residential features to the chef-style kitchen to just the king-size bed and the King Kong-size storage. Yes, starting at $7.42 a day. That's almost a cup of coffee at some of those fancy places. Right back here in the rear off-camp side, we got the double-over-double double bunks with the solid ladder mounted. Now, these are 200-pound max capacity bunks, but you still have that 3-inch thick fuzzy mattress cover there, one in the top, one in the bottom. You got a little storage compartment down there, right behind the 110 and the LP02 detector. Now, there is uh, outside storage uh, underneath the bunks as well, but it's not accessible from the inside and vice versa. So, if you want to store stuff there and store stuff outside, you got a really good grab and go spot out there. So, if you like to hunt, fish, or maybe you just want to keep you know, your backpacks, your Kabu bags out there, that's going to be a really good spot. Now, with this being a bunk model, and it is longer than 35 feet, you're going to have a good chance of having double access entry points. This one, the second access, is in the bathroom. Come in here. We have a beautiful residential shower with single tub surround. Got the high ceilings in this one, too. So this one has uh, the barrel ceilings over 80 inches, giving you plenty of height. But even with the skylight or without it, I wouldn't really be cramped because of how high these ceilings are. Got my little shower nozzle right there, my plastic bowl with the foot flush, my corner angled single vanity sink. Got the medicine cabinet right there with the raised lips. I really like what they did with the Mallards for 2021. They gave you this rustic appearance, but it's still sturdy with the graphite or matte black finish fixtures all the way around. I can check all my batteries. 
my fresh tanks. I can run my, my, water, my water heater, my pump, the whole nine right there. And if I need to get outside, I got my second access point right here. <clears throat> Just a nice option because with bunks, it really opens up some different options for you as far as what you want to do and where you want to go. If you want to bring the kids, obviously bunk models are the way to go. If you got the dogs, bunk models are a great option for you, especially with the access point here. Because if you are adventurous, you like to get out and do a lot of things, you know people are going to get dirty on hiking, biking, hunting, or fishing, whatever, you can get cleaned up in there, shower the kids, spray the dogs off before coming in here and tracking all the dirt and debris through this beautiful RV. Now, this is a laminated floor right here. Easy to clean, slip resistant, looks good. It's a little bit darker in here because we're inside. But when you're outside and the natural sunlight's coming in, these walls and everything really pop. They really look good. I mean, they look good anyway. So here's my TV backer. If I want to set my TV up right here, I can. I got my connections for my entertainment there, my power right here. More storage on both sides. My Furion AM FM command center with CD, DVD player. Plus, it is Bluetooth and dual zoned. So if you want to play music inside or out, you got the option to do so. Take a look at the beautiful frosted glass that I have inside my storage cabinets up top. <clears throat> got, <clears throat> excuse me, we got a 13,500 BTU air conditioner that's actually back there above Kev. I'll show you here in a minute. And we got a 30,000 BTU furnace, which is ducted inside the cabinetry. You'll see right there under my oven. And then there's another vent over here uh, underneath my circuit panel below the storage. I like the way that they do that because that means there's no soft spots in the floor. The underbelly, which is heated and enclosed, there's no ductwork under there. And sometimes when you have that through years of camping and years of wear and tear, you kind of start getting those soft spots in the floor. So just, you know, just a little thing that Harlan decided to do better. It's an investment that they made to kind of make your camping experience better. Right in front of my double over double bunks is my entertainment resting area, my reconnection spot. Got the beautiful LED accent lighting inside the paneling here on the wood slide. But check out my sofa. Now, usually on RVs, uh, especially at this price point, I mean, you're talking starting at $30,995 or as low as $7.42 a day. You don't get this composite material that is water resistant, easy to clean, and pet friendly. It's tough to scratch, it's tough to show the stains, and more importantly, it's dark, so it'll show the wear and tear less. But a lot of times, you just get the little jackknife sofa. Well, what Heartland did, you know, after you want to get finished reconnecting with the loved ones, hanging out, having fun, watching TV, maybe you're watching the sunrise or the sunset, you're at the Rockies, I mean, you're going to a jazz game, you're doing, you know, wherever you want to go, wherever you want to take your RV, that's the best part about it, because it's your RV, and you get to do whatever you want to with your RV. You're taking your home with you. You're not in a hotel room or having to worry about travel plans because you don't know who's been there before you. Safe, secure, easiest way to travel. That's why so many people have blown up on RVs. I mean, it's, it, 2021 is going to be the year of RV travel because last year people realized they can get out safely and securely with an RV. Back to the upgraded features. Sorry, I digress because I'm passionate about it. It's like, look, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not talking to you about RVs. I'm showing you features of these great units. But at the end of the day, I'm talking to you about dreams and reasons. The reason for you to accomplish your dreams of getting out with your loved ones is right here. That's why I love it so much. Sure, I love the RVs. They're cool, man. Look at all the cool stuff we got in these. But at the end of the day, you get to get out with the loved ones. You get to reconnect, save those family relationships, disconnect, and reconnect. Check this bad boy out. So, got my cushion in the slide out right here for my bed because this is how the bed goes down and connects. Now, tell me that's not cool. Not only do you get additional storage space in there when you don't want to use the cushion, but look at the form and functionality. <laughs> look how thick this freaking thing is. That's almost as big as my 789 head, Kev. Look at that. Look at that. That's comfy and plush right there, baby. U-shaped dinette over here as well with storage underneath. Plenty of room to sit four more people. Residential LED lights and sconces. I got my L-shaped kitchen over here on the campsite with plenty of prep space. 
I got the cutting boards on top of my 6040 sink right here with the high rise faucet and pull down sprayer. More storage, lights, oven, the whole nine. I got the microwave right there. Get the doodle station on the fridge. This is a 10 cubic foot Dometic fridge freezer combo. Runs on both gas and electric. Uh, and what I like about the doodle station is if you have chalk, you can have the kids just write notes, you know, do whatever on there. Just a nice little feature that makes this family fun. It's a family fun camper. Pantry space over here. Mud room and prep space here with my hangers, my mirror. Good spot for my shoes, bench seat to take off my work boots. Coming to the master bedroom, king size bed. Yes, it is so hard to find a king size bed in RVs these days. I got me some storage underneath and I got me some shoe storage on the bottom there. I got dual USB charging over here, dual USB charging and 110 over there as well. So you got a king size bed that is comfortable and plush intercoil spring mattress. More storage there. I got me a little accent light up here. Space to put my cell phones, cross breeze windows. I mean, there are so many features with the Heartland Mallards. You can spend just hours going through everything that you can do, uh, all the places you can take it. But this model that I'm in right here, the 312, 7,000 pounds dry, roughly 36 feet long, starting at $30,995 or as low as $7.42 a day. Look at what this thing usually sells for, 40 grand. You're saving almost 10 grand with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. We're giving you the option to get out and about affordably, safely, and securely. Solid step over steps coming outside. We got the beautiful fiberglass. Look at the painting that we have on this. And I had mentioned on the inside about the Asdell onboard. This is a graphite composite that's on the inside on the back of the wall. Now we already got two inch thick foam core on the inside, but what that Asdell does is it gives us about another quarter inch of insulation, but it's water resistant, mildew resistant, and better yet, you don't get that off-gassing that you got from Luan. When you don't get mold and mildew in there, you don't get the bubbling, the delamination. That sucks in an RV. So many features, so many things. We do not have the time to cover everything. I wish we did. Like, for example, double axle with the wide track suspension, giving you extra safety and security going down the road. Heated and enclosed underbelly. LP Quick Connect down there. Take a look at my outside kitchen. Love it. Got my little two burner cooktop right here, a sink and a space to do all my prep work. And you know, I love the outdoor fridges because when I wanna have my outdoor bourbon, put it in there and get my three finger pour on, I got the bottle right there ready for me to go. Drinks, fish, if you're going fishing, going hunting, you wanna put stuff in there, store it, bam. You got the magnetic anti-slam on everything all the way around. And before we end this puppy, let me show you King Kong size storage. What they've done is they've expanded the storage unit here. As you can see, true pass through as well. Tons of space so you can put everything you need in there from bags to beach towels to, you know, Utah jazz equipment. You might be able to fit Carl Malone in there. Uh, uh, probably not. But you also have powered leveling jacks on the front and the rear. If you have questions about this, the Heartland Mallard M312, or if you have questions about other units like this, we got over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming. 20,000 on the, on the lot as it is. Chris, we need to know about, you know, the LED light strip on the awning. How big is it? We need to know about, you know, hey, can we get one a little bit shorter? Can we get this, that, and the other thing? Drop me a comment down below fresh or text fresh to 46642. But if you love this Mallard M312, starting at $30,995 or as low as $7.42 a day, Drop me the comment down below RV or text RV to 46642. We got one more Heartland coming up as the Ultimate RV Show National Tour continues. From sunup to sundown, we are designing your next big adventure, building your family vacation, delivering your memories that will last a lifetime. We know it's more than just an RV, which is why we are working around the clock to bring over 80,000 RVs fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. Built by Americans for Americans and starting at less than $5 per day. Click, call, or visit your local camping world today. 
Hi everyone, I'm Ian Baker, and today we have a special episode of Between Two Grills. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I'm joined here by my good friends Tiffany and Caleb with us, the Remingtons, and today we're actually going to talk a little bit about Good Sam Parks. It's Ooh. one of those aspects of Good Sam a lot of people love. I know you guys have had some experience with the parks. Love them. Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, well, actually, we full timed for almost two years at a Good Sam Park. Okay. Camp Land on the Bay in San Diego. Yeah. All right. Absolutely amazing. We love the amenities of it, but the biggest perk was obviously being parked right on the water, Ooh. being able to take our stand up paddleboard, our kayaks. And just being able to see the sunrise and sunsets over the water is like so incredible. We yeah. loved it. I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> you should have came yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> but yeah, we started traveling just on this uh, Ultimate RV Show national tour. And what we love is just going on the Good Sam website and typing in our next destination and finding all the Good Sam locations along the way. We've used that so many times. And, you know, we found some of the most amazing sites. Like we said, we, we always love the good amenities, that they got the koozie, you know, I gotta <laughs> have right, a koozie on right. the pool. Sometimes it's heated, but <laughs> most bougie. of the time- He's very the, bougie. That's true. <laughs> most of the time I'm looking for the lake or the pond and, and sure enough, we stayed at three different Good Sam locations. And oh, Lake Kerr. Lake Kerr. It was on the border of North Carolina and Virginia. Oh, beautiful Especially area. Especially in like winter camping. I don't know if this is like normal, but it was untouched. There was maybe two other people on the campground, but there was forest of trees. Yeah. The lake was oh just so gosh. serene, glassy. It Sounds was... like a Pinterest picture. Yeah, it was, no, honestly, <laughs> it was. Instagram, Instagram. There we go. But that's what's nice is that you can go kind of like boondock in the woods on the yep. lake, or you can go to like the luxury resorts like where we were at in San Diego yep. and get to experience both lifestyles, mm -hmm. um, which is super neat and I love it. And we get to save. And yeah. we have discounts every single time, so and, that's and incredible. I'm glad you brought that up because, you know, you're looking at over 2,400 different Good Sam campgrounds across mm -hmm. the nation. And like you said, there's kind of different campgrounds for every lifestyle depending on what you do, right? I mean, yeah. if you enjoy biking or backpacking, yep. you know, I mean, there's campgrounds for you. If you want to wake up to a beautiful view, you know, the sunrise coming up over the lake or the sunset, which I still want. Or, <laughs> <laughs> or you know, like I said, even if you're going winter camping, right, there's... Yeah. Uh, a lot of people, like you said, it's something that a lot of people haven't gotten into, but it's starting to become more and more popular. Yeah. People are getting out, doing some winter camping, really starting to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, being able to go skiing or snowshoeing yeah. or, you know, just uh, enjoying the natural beauty. And with the good sand parks located all throughout the country, like I said, it's easy, it's easy to find one. You know, it any is. amenities you want. And we're normally like a planner, so. Okay. It, but this trip, we're like, we're not going to plan. We're going to just use the Good Sam like website and just find our next location each yeah. time. And it's worked out every That's time. Awesome. So. That's awesome. Never had a bad experience with any of the campgrounds. We've stayed at a few where we're like, this is a little sketchy. They weren't Good Sams, but <laughs> we know the difference between a good site and a bad site. And trust me, every every Good Sam campground has been top-notch quality. It's, it's not a Good Sam. It's a bad Sam campground. Yeah, it was a bad Sam, yeah. <laughs> Evil stepbrother. All right, guys. Well, thanks again so much for joining me, folks. If you want to become part of the over 2 million members in the largest RV community in the country, starting at only $29 a day, you can only save on retail. But as uh, Tiffany and Caleb said, you can also save on the campgrounds and have access to all those all throughout the country. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, Ian. Come on into the bunk room. It's all about the Heartlands right now, since, you know, we are technically in the Heartland. What's up? It's Chris Young, Ultimate RV Show National Tour, telling you a little bit about one of our better manufacturers out there, Heartland. The one I'm standing in right now is Pioneer, especially if you're looking for entry level, because the Pioneers bang for your buck all day long. Great value, well-built, entry-level RVs that are set up for the family, for the couples, for the adventurer. They got toy haulers. They got everything under the sun. Heartland has everything under the sun, from toy haulers to fifth wheels to small couple coaches, single axle, double axle, triple axle, whatever you're looking for, Heartland's got something for you. Now, the one that I'm in right now, the DS320, 7,700 pounds, 37 feet long. You're sleeping eight people in this one comfortably with its own separate bunk room. I'm a fan of these because we have bunk rooms. Check out my bunk space that I have over here on the campsite. I got a double over entertainment center and what they've done is they've modified the bunk setup and put a twin bunk along the back wall. So I got my hideaway ladder right here. 
my storage shelves, entertainment center slash storage compartment, because you do have a cable connection and power connection right there. And over on the off-camp side, I got my twin over bunk that can lock up, can lift up and lock out of the way if you wanted to. And these little jokers right here are, you know, kind of like your Versa loungers. So these cushions, which are used as backs when you just want to set it up for, you know, just lounging, you can fold those out. They can become twin beds, or you can stack them up on top of each other and have like a super comfy twin bed, or pull them out, put them together, and you got like a full-size bed right there. Sleeping options which nowadays we have found, uh, especially with people who are traveling more, you got traveling games, road games, sports, this, that, and the other thing, they need more versatility and options when it comes to sleeping. Something like that, a great option. Now, during the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, we're going to have pricing that's only going to be available during the show. For example, this Heartland Pioneer DS320 starts at $28,995. Yes, or as low as $7.17 a day. For a... Um, a vacation home that can sleep eight people under 8,000 pounds dry? Yes, you're welcome. Yes, I know. I know. Thank, thank you. No, no, no. Thank you. No, thank you. Please stop standing and clapping. Please, please stop. Look, no, it's, it's okay. Seriously, it's okay. I know it's what you've been wanting, and that's what we want to do. We want to give it to you. We want to give you that option to get out and see America the safest way possible, to have a double-axis RV so that if you have the kids, they're out playing, you want to go to bed at the master and sleep a little bit longer. They have a way to get in, come and go quietly. Or if you have the animals with you, you want to get them clean before tracking everything in through the, through the, through the RV. Now, sure, this is easy to clean, slip-resistant linoleum flooring. But if you want to say, hey, look, don't track all the dirt and mud. I know you guys went to the flats. You went to the mountains, wherever you went. Please don't get my RV dirty. They can come in here and get cleaned up before walking in. Because you got a neo-angled shower right here with a glass enclosure. Over 80 inches of height in these RVs, too. So you got plenty of headroom. Corner notch. Got my nozzle right here. And a glass enclosure. For an entry-level RV, that's fancy. Large single basin sink right there. Medicine cabinet and storage. Come back out right here. Got some more storage here that can be used for whatever, pantry if you wanted to. That's the great thing about RVs. Um, no matter what you have, you can use it for whatever you want to. It's, it's your RV. When you're ready to disconnect and reconnect, Kev, I want you to kind of take a look at this whole slide that we have that houses our leather jackknife sofa and this U-shaped dinette. Take a look at those large panoramic windows with the wood valances that go all the way around. Decorative, appealing, but more importantly than that, allows you to let in good cross-flow air and fantastic lighting. So last year, sucked. Just call it what it is. We didn't get a chance to get out and do what we wanted to do. I didn't get a chance to take my kids on any vacations. Didn't get a chance to take my wife on the yearly vacation that we'd like to do. You know, where it's just us get away and escape. Everybody's wound tight as a clock right now. And we haven't really had the chance to sit down and think about what's the best way for us to get out and see America the safest way possible. Uh, well, it's, it's with an RV. That's why we decided to do the Ultimate RV Show National Tour and give you 10 weeks of going across the country showing you RVs. But more importantly than that, it's, it's showing you that these are dreams that can come true. Sure, I, I love the RVs. They are so cool, man. They feature packed. They've upgraded a tons of stuff. But at the end of the day, what I get more passionate about is giving you a chance, hopefully giving you the realization that here's your chance to disconnect from everything and reconnect with your loved ones. Just picture sitting here with your family. Picture sitting here with the kids playing board games or just having a meal that you made over there. You went fishing, you came back, you cleaned it up, and you cooked it in the campsite kitchen, and everybody's having fun. That's a memory that's going to last a lifetime. I still remember the first time my dad took me in his RV. I was eight years old. We packed up the family and went down to Disney World. I remember that trip like it was yesterday. I can't remember where I parked my car today, but I remember that trip. It's those memories that we don't think about, those things that we don't think about when we do, that the loved ones around us do remember. And quite frankly, you owe it to yourself to give yourself that opportunity to build those memories with the loved ones. I'm just saying. All right, 
L-shaped kitchen over here on the campsite, solid pressed surface countertop over here. Love the prep space that we have. I got myself a backsplash, an undermounted 50-50 stainless steel sink with a high-rise faucet, 10 cubic foot, oh no, I'm sorry, this is 6 cubic foot, uh, fridge freezer combo, runs on both gas and electric. Is that, what is that? That is a 7 cubic foot, 6 cubic foot, 8 cubic foot. Look, it's some cubic foot that's got space in it. You hear me? The good thing is there are so many options with RVs these days that you can get pretty much anything that you want under the sun. Um, you just got to drop fresh in the comment section down below or text fresh to 46642. You can get one of our specials who are standing by now to help you find one that's going to fit your lifestyle and your budget. But for $28,995 or as low as $7.17 a day to sleep eight, 7,700 pounds, roughly 37 feet long, you can't pass this one up. This is beautiful. Coming to the master, you got pocket doors on both sides giving me the air of having to walk around. But at the end of the day, it's really just uh, access to where if I need to get up and go use the restroom or if I need to get up and get some water in the middle of the night, I don't have to wake up my loved one by opening the door. I got my pocket door. They have their pocket door. You got storage underneath. You got side opening cabinets over here. Plus, I got some mirrored ward storage. USB charging on both sides, power on both sides. The other thing that I like, let's see. All right, boom, there it is. My Wi-Fi extender. These are pre-wired for Wi-Fi and 4G LTE extension. So if you need to stay connected when you're on the road, they've already thought about that. You just sign up for the WineGuard 2.0, boom, you're rocking and rolling. Also, the light switch on the wall. Very nice touch. Now, before I head outside, one of the big things is entertainment. Sure, we still got to watch TVs, even if we wanted to get out and dis disconnect, reconnect with the loved ones. You got your area right here for your TV. I got my plug and my power, my AM FM command center, my dual USB charging point. Got a little mini mud room right there. Storage underneath. This is one of those bang for your buck RVs that is, that is tough to come by. Um, and look what it used to be. It used to be 38843 Not anymore. Not today, Jack. $28,995 or as low as $7.17 a day to sleep eight comfortably and in style. That's something you can't pass up. Safety and security when it comes to coming in and out because you got the solid step over steps. Extra large grab handle. Now, this is an automotive coating that we have here on these aluminum panels outside. What does that do? It just reduces the fading, the wear and tear. Really allows you to extend your camp season for years on end without having to worry about everything looking all faded and the graphics looking all nasty. You'll notice we have that blue LED light underneath. That's for safety and security. Get your power, your fresh water connection, your black tank flush, your cable connection all right here. So if you want to set up some outside entertainment under the large 16-foot awning with the LED light strip, I got the blue lights behind my marine grade speakers outside. Here's my exterior entry to the bathroom. Love it. But my favorite part about bunk models is when you're able to get an outside kitchen in it. Because, I mean, think about it. Let's say you go fishing or you go hunting. we got some great hunting out here. I mean, oh, my gosh. I remember uh, my wife's family lives uh, just up past Cripple Creek. And we would go up there to their property and hunt. Oh, some of the best memories because we would take her camper. We'd fly in to Denver, drive up, and then take her camper and go out because eh, I ain't going to take mine all the way across the country. I could. She didn't have time. You could, though. But my outside kitchen is where we would do everything on the RV. Do the prep. I just got my store away stuff here. So if I want to do some cleaning outside, I've got the compartments for it. Plug in my TV if I want to, or my plug in my cell phone to charge it, or my boom box. Bam, got the power there. The sink to do the cleaning. More storage here. And of course, my favorite, the little dorm room style fridges. Because what do I love to have anytime I go out? I got to have my three finger pour of bourbon. And I like to keep my bourbon inside the fridge so it's cold. If I ain't got my ice maker, I'm putting my bourbon in the fridge for my three-finger pour. You got to have priorities. And the fact that we do have the strut-supported door right here not only gives us some security, it also gives us some cover. You got good headroom. It's not one of those low-profile doors that when you come in, you're going to be knocking your head around. Heartland thought of that when they did the design. That's why it's a little bit bigger space this year than has been on past. Plus, they give you the tailgate system, so if you want to take your bikes with you, store those securely. Got your 4x4 sewer hose storage there, spare tire mounted on the back, external shower with hot and cold. And check out 
my axles under there. Look at that extra wide berth we got in the suspension. Those are aluminum rims, so you're not going to have the rusting on those axles. Got my sewer outlet connections and my terminations under there as well. But here's the deal. During the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, we will not have a whole lot of time to give you all the features that we want to give you. That's why we have people standing by right now. So if you say, Chris, this DS320, I love it. How do I get just this one? Starting at $28,995 or as low as $7.17, drop me a comment down below. RV or text RV to 46642. Now we got over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming, over 20,000 on the lots right now. So if you say, hey, I like this one, but I need something different. Drop me a comment down below. Fresh or text fresh to 46642. Just give us a call. 877-297-8725. Ultimate RV Show National Tour is all about helping you make that dream a reality. And we got more as the Ultimate RV Show National Tour continues. Loving you, Chris. Thank you so much, my friend. I love the outside kitchens always, and anytime you can put a TV outside, I'm loving that. And I'm standing here with the Jurgies, mm -hmm. two of my dearest friends now, because when you come out on the road and you spend several weeks together <laughs> and... Uh, and become the godfather of, you know, somebody's children. And become yeah. the godfather of their child. <laughs> but no, seriously, a family is what it's all about. You get to build a family with our crew here and, mm -hmm. and everybody that works together and knows, like Chris and Ian, the lifestyle, the insides, the outsides of yeah. all of these amazing RVs that we're showing to you, that means something to me. And I love that, that we're going <laughs> into our next segment, which is spacious family living uh, fifth wheels, which you guys know all about. Yeah, and they're game changers. You're basically going in a little apartment, you know? So yeah. that's how we feel with ours. And you guys have a fifth wheel that you tow with your amazing uh, Ford 450 truck. It's uh -huh. uh, That thing is uh, incredible. <laughs> Ooh, it is a, probably the most my favorite vehicle I've ever driven. Yeah, and should yeah. I say, by the way, this little girl you drive it. the Ford truck. I do. I drive it. I pull the trailer, which I feel pretty good about. Oh, and here's our daughter. Yeah. <laughs> she loves it, too. And you know, she loves the spacious living as well. And so th This is real life stuff that's happening mm -hmm. right now as we speak. Not planned. Kids are just hanging out, having a good time, <laughs> enjoying the vehicles, enjoying running in and out, and living the lifestyle that you guys do on the road from yep. coast to coast. Yeah. No, this is, this is something we really wanted we knew our second vehicle, our class A was great, but we know we wanted a big living space because we got toys, we got lots of things, we got you know snacks everywhere. And so having a spacious living area is super important for us, especially if you're full time. One of the things I know you guys did was to refurbish your back area and change the <laughs> garage into like a, the kids room so yeah. they could be separate from you. Yeah, it's AV's domain yeah. pretty much. Different like, set of toys that most people you know wouldn't think of, but yeah. it works real well. But it still works, and it's all good. As a matter of fact, we're going to turn things over to Ian because when we start talking about family and spacious living, I know that you have seen these vehicles on the road, yep. and they're, when they go by, it's always an OMG factor. Oh, my goodness, look yep, at that. Totally. And I, I love a Keith Urban song that goes along with this next uh, segment. It's John Cougar, John Deere, John 316. And, of course, we're talking about the Keystone Cougar 316. <laughs> there you go. Anytime I can drop a country artist in the middle of a song, it's all It's always good. good. It's Love always that. good. Right. So let's turn things over to Ian, and uh, we're going to see what's happening here on the stage with our family. Ian, take it away, my friend. Let's take a look at it. When we talk about fifth wheels with big living spaces, one of the first ones that automatically come to mind is rear living. And for good reason, right? The, the back half, basically, of the entire fifth wheel is dedicated to that living space. So you want to make sure it's nice and big. And this one right here definitely does a great job at that, folks. This is the 2021 Keystone Coat Cougar 316 RLS. And the thing I love about this is you get the dual opposing slides, right, to open up this living space, open up that kitchen, give you the kitchen island. And this one's only 36 foot long. Now, now you may be saying only, right, but when we're talking about fifth wheels, 36 foot is kind of like that, that cutting off point. Uh, because when you start getting much larger than that, a lot of times you will have to get designated special spots at campsites. It's one of those things to think about. But when you're 36 foot or under, you can fit in most campsites. As long as it's not like a national park or anything like that, you should be good to go. So it's like the perfect length right at that cutoff, really maximizing this space. Now, if we take a look right over here at the uh, the slide out on our campsite, we'll notice a couple different things. You'll see 
freestanding table and chairs here, which I definitely prefer. You know, this isn't built to sleep a lot of people, so you don't necessarily need the dinette. Plus, I have a sofa in the back if I need to sleep some additional guests. I'd rather have something that looks a little bit nicer, can comfortably seat people all around the table, so that if I'm playing a board game, which I'm a big board game fan of, by the way, if anyone's wondering, um, or, you know, if you want to uh, eat a meal, something like that, obviously it, it just, you have more room, you have more space. Also, if you take a look at the floor, you'll see that they use a special, um, it's a like a mesh vinyl. This is something they actually took out of the marine industry. So it cleans up very easily. You know, any spills, dirt, anything like that cleans up very simply and easily. And it still gives you the flush floor slide out rather than having like a step up. Then coming down a little bit further, we get into the Allure furniture. So upgraded furniture over what you usually get. I love the Allure. It's very comfortable. Again, it's durable. You know, it, it has a high wear resistance. So, you know, this will be a high seating area because the TV is directly across from it. Probably the best seat in the RV. So you want to make sure it's not going to wear down and break apart. You know, you don't want anything flaking off where you have to replace your furniture after a year or two. Uh, you will also notice that, that in the cup holders, the cup holders do light up. It also has a heat feature as well as a massage feature so that, you know, if you want to kick back, relax after a long day or, you know, you just want to make, be comfortable, this will allow you to do it. And of course, you have spot for remotes right there. One of the other big things about Cougar, now they call it panoramic windows, but what it basically means is they have windows, you know, from basically right above the furniture all the way to the top of the slide. So you have huge windows all the way across there, letting in a ton of natural light. And if you take a look, like let's look at this window right back here. What you'll notice is they have blackout roller shades. Now, Cougar stuck with the Lambrequins, right? There's a lot of manufacturers that are going to like wood frame. And you may ask yourself, well, why didn't Cougar? I, I like the wood look. It, and I'll agree with you. I personally like wood framed windows as well because it, it gives a residential look and feel. However, what you miss out on when you have roller shades like this, if you go with wood frame, the shade is going to be above that in front of that frame and you get a big gap about that big between the back of your shade and the wall where light is coming through. And so they're no longer become blackout shades. Here, the Lamborghini comes out. So when you drop that down, it will actually block out basically all the light except for the little bit that may sneak in underneath. So it does a much, much better job of, you know, actually blacking out the uh, fifth wheel as well as giving you that privacy at night. Oh, you'll see storage all across the top here. Uh, right down below is your love seat. So you have a comfort, again, another comfortable place to sit, to have conversation, to hang out. This does fold out into a bed. So if you want guests to stay the night, this is where it'll be in this RV. Both sides have very large nightstand, not nightstand, sorry, end tables with storage in them. Also electrical outlets and USB ports built in there. And then of course, directly across from that theater seating is your TV. Now, I love the wood color choice in here. Um, you know, a little bit earlier, we saw Jayco RVs and they kind of did something very similar. We have some other manufacturers that are going to kind of this, you know, a uh, little bit more farmhouse style. And I personally really like it. I think it's beautiful. It's bright. It helps brighten up the RVs, um, which, you know, if you take a look up at the ceiling, you will see not only we have those big windows, but we also have two rows of lights, right, running up the entire thing. Uh, as well as dual ducted AC and then, you know, plenty of other lighting all the way throughout. So no matter if it's day or night, it will be nice and bright in the Cougar. And the woodwork in here definitely aids in that because, again, it is nice and bright and airy and it feels fresh and clean, right, especially in your kitchen space. Dropping down from the TVs, your multimedia center, some storage, and then a fireplace right down there. Nice, long fireplace, right? We're seeing that more and more again following a residential trend. And uh, the great thing about that is not only does that look really uh, nice at night, but also it will help take the chill off, which I absolutely love because that way you're not burning up propane, essentially free heat. Let's take a look at the island. So you have a huge island in here. And I say huge not only because it's long, but also because it's deep, right? So that gives you more prep space, especially over in here. You have the high-rise pull-out faucet, the undermounted sink. You'll notice a little cutout right up front. Now they did that to maximize this width. They could have made the whole thing right here and scooted everything back, but it would look kind of smushed, right? But they wanted to give you a nice big sink, but they had to cut this out so when the fridge comes in, it's not, you know, smashing up against the island. It, the, uh, the slide here can actually move in and out. So I love that they did that. They maximized your island space. Underneath, you'll see more storage there as well as some cutting racks. Also over to the side, you have a bank of drawers more prep space over to this side over here as well as 
power towers in both corners. So, you know, if you want to put a coffee maker on either side or a blender, griddle, whatever, you can do that. Storage down below, three burner cooktop with an oven, storage underneath that, and again, storage on this side here as well, plus storage all around the microwave. So plenty of kitchen storage all the way throughout. Taking a step in a little bit further, you will see the Dometic fridge freezer combo. Nice and big. You can see that there is plenty of cold storage there. Now this one also runs off both propane and electric. Um, and in this one, when we go outside, you will also see has the, the uh, OTG system. So, you know, if it, not, not, it'll necessarily run the fridge, but it does do a lot. And, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, you know, actually, let's, let's hit it now. So this one has what they call the Cougar OTG system, which stands for off the grid. And it basically is an excellent solar system that they put in here. It comes, with, uh, it comes with a 1200 watt inverter, but this one was upgraded to the 2000 watt inverter. So, you know, plenty of power there. It will run an outlet in your living room, in your kitchen, uh, as well as up front in the bedroom. So even if, you know, you don't have shore power, you will still have 120 outlets that will work, which is fantastic. And then, you know, again, this can run off propane. So if you're planning on doing some camping, you know, off, off the grid, this is a great RV for it. You have the fridge that runs off propane. You can have 120 power because of that OTG system. You have 81 gallons fresh, 76 gray. I mean, so you have huge storage tanks in here as well. So if that's something you're thinking about, folks, and again, at 36 feet, it's not overly long. The, the Cougar here is absolutely beautiful. So plenty of pantry space. You know, we're talking about the big living spaces, and that's exactly what this provides right back here. Storage top and bottom, plus like a little bar space. Again, good spot for a coffee maker. Solid surface, just like we had all throughout the kitchen. So we make our way upstairs. You'll see a built-in grab handle. I really enjoy this. And the in-command system. This is a big one for Cougar. Um, this is something that you know a lot of manufacturers don't have because you know it's a little bit more expensive. But it makes everything super simple and easy. You can control all your lights, your slides, your HVAC. And one of the things that I really like is you can schedule a start and stop time. And the reason I, I love that, you know, beyond just the thermostat is you can download an app and let's say you have this sitting somewhere seasonally or you have friends that are gonna come use it, you can set the AC to kick on at a certain time so that when you get there or they get into your RV, everything is nice and cool for you already. Come into the uh, bathrooms. This is another one of my favorite parts about the 316. And again, you know, I say that this is a shorter fifth wheel. I mean, 36 foot, right? Obviously they make shorter, but 36 for what you get in this is actually really impressive. Porcelain toilet, but the thing I love about it is this right here. You have dual vanity and that is an absolute marriage saver. It's a lifesaver, um, especially as I said, in a, you know, kind of a little bit shorter fifth wheel. Um, over to the side is your shower, plenty of space in there. You have a seat if you want to you know, sit down or if you just need to shave your legs, you get a linen closet in here. And then if we swing around to the bedroom, we'll swing right in here. You'll see a bunch of great uh, things in here too. So a spot for a TV right there, dresser down below, washer dryer prep in here if you want washer and dryer. Over to the side, you have big wardrobe storage plus an electrical outlet in there. So if you need to have a CPAP machine, right? Like, you know, hey, I use one and I take it when I'm camping. I wanna make sure there's gonna be connections and this one has it. Plus you get the slide out king bed, courtesy lights all over, including up and down the stairs. And speaking of stairs, take a look at these ones. They comes with the Moride step above step system. You have this little plate right there, little keystone plate. Kind of cool. Uh, you get the larger grab handle there as well. Makes it nice and easy to enter and exit. If you make way up a little bit further, you'll see the garage storage in here. So plenty of room. Uh, you have the in-command system there. It is slam latch with magnetic catches so that it's nice and easy to put up and down. Now I'm gonna go a little out of order. I actually wanna scoot around to the front and then over to the other side. I just wanna show you, uh, you guys something real quick. One, this one does have the road armor uh, kingpin, so that pivoting head, again, will help take out some of the bucking and chucking. You have a mirror on there, it's easier to see when you're backing up, as well as a light. But come take a look at this, because this is what I want to show you. So, with that Cougar OTG system, you can see right here, it comes with the solar controller. You have a 170 watt panel mounted up on the roof. That's the 2000 watt inverter right there. You have a battery disconnect to shut that off if you so choose. You will also see this one comes with auto level. So touch a button, it will level itself out. And right over here, take a look at that, some hidden storage, right? 
Just pull that up. You got some extra storage right there. I like that they finished it off that way, so that way it is flat, but if you want to put something down there, you can. Then you have all of your connections basically right over here. And what you will notice is both the black tank and the gray tank have insulated valves. So that way, if you're doing some colder weather camping, you don't have to worry about anything freezing up on you, right? They do a great job, excellent ins insulation value in here. Uh, that climate control system they have is phenomenal. They have radiant foil where it needs to be. They have a hard wall on the back. This is not a hung wall, right? Uh, that's something that people, you know, used to be, I don't know, upset at Cougar before. That's not at all the case now. You have the nice laminated wall back here. Plus, underneath you will see you have a 3,000 pound hitch if you want to tow something else behind it, folks. This is a fantastic RV. It's a 2021 Keystone Cougar 316 RLS. You can pick this one up starting at $48,995, which is as little as $11.73 a day. And all you have to do to lock in that pricing is text the word RV to 46642. Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world. Fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs, starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. So we saw a rear living that comes in right at 36 foot, but what happens if we add five foot and go to full profile plus add some more amenities? Well, folks, then you get into a rear living floor plan like this one, which is the Keystone Montana 3780 RL. And as I said, this one comes in at 41 foot and being a full profile will give you more bedroom space, but it will also add some weight. So as we go through here, as we're looking, you wanna make sure you have a big enough truck because dry, this one weighs just a skosh under 13,500 pounds. So definitely not the lightest RV ever, but it is big on amenities as well. And one of them is of course, what this whole section is all about, which is living space. I want you a little 360 for everyone here, Fritz. Kind of show them the space that we're in, right? You can see this center island. You have the ton of kitchen prep space over there. Sorry, it looks like it's a little bit dirty. I should have cleaned that up, I apologize. Uh, but you can see the TV there, nice big sofa in the back, you know, storage all across the top there. And then as we come around over into our uh, campsite slide, you will see here you have theater seats, which is can also become a sofa, I'll show you in just a second, and the buffet style dinette. So, you know, as I mentioned, this is just a huge space. You have those dual opposing slides and this dinette, I really love. This is something Montana did about two years ago, uh, something that we've seen for a long time in the RV industry and it's just now kind of start, or sorry, a long time in the motorhome side of things, but something we're just now starting to see in the fifth wheel part of the industry. So, uh, but, but I love it. I'm glad that they did. So with this dinette, essentially what you can do is this does pull out, plus it has a leaf. So you can do this right here to pull it out and you have this additional leaf to pull it out even more, and you have two more chairs. Now, one of the cool things, one of the things I really like about Montana is the foldable chairs match the existing ones. So if you have guests coming over and you have everything you know, uh, folded out, they would have no idea that this table tucks away or that it normally only has two chairs. You know, It looks like it was meant for four people. Another thing I really like is they do this right here. They put a power tower right in there. And for me, that makes sense because you know, uh, so many more people, especially with, you know, the, the environment we're in with, you know, everything that's going on, more and more people are working from the road. You know, they're working from home, from the road. And something like this gives you the ability to do that. Because you can be right here in your RV, whether you're at the campground, whether you're traveling, whatever it may be, you're able to plug in right there and boom, now, you know, you're good to go. Uh, I've also seen people that, you know, have their fifth wheels stored at their home. And with this, you know, as long as you have power run to inside, you can have like your own little office, your own workspace, right? You know, if the kids are driving you crazy and need to get out for a second, now you can come right over here, you have your own office, you have your own space, uh, just a lot of different uses. And so I love that right there at that seating area, you have the, uh, the plug-in. Big windows here as well. Uh, you know, you can see that and you have roller shades, of course, LED lights up top. One of the things that Montana does that a lot of manufacturers have gone away from is this right here, which is give you storage above the seating area. Now, Montana's always been really big on storage, so I'm glad that they kept with that. And I've, I've asked people before, you know, on, on several different occasions, and it's always split. 
Some people want bigger windows, some people want more storage. Uh, but I think in here, you know, because you, you probably will spend a lot of time in here, having the storage is great. And you still have enough window space to bring in plenty of light. Another thing I want to point out, Folks, I'm six foot tall. Look at that slide height. You know, I mean, I could be, you know, six two, six three, and still not hit my head on the top of that slide, which is awesome. Now, when I sit down in the theater seats, this is the uh, the T Payne collection, Thomas Payne. That has a light in here. Uh, you have the heat, you have the massage feature, and it is also powered, so that will raise up and down. Now. Keep in mind, in order to use that, you will have to have shore power, a generator, right? Some kind of 120 for that to work. But um, the great thing about it is that you, if you have bad knees or weaker legs, you don't have to, you know, worry about shoving it back in there. Because I've, you know, I've seen people that struggle to do it when I've been at, you know, other RV shows and events or just showing people RVs. You know, I, I put it out for them. They're like, oh, this is great. And they go to put it back and, you know, it's a little bit of a struggle. But with the power, it obviously makes life much easier. You have the drop down armrest with cup holders. This little guy pops up, look at that. Another 120 right there, plus a couple USB ports. So again, if you have a laptop or something, you wanna sit right here and work, you can do so. Maybe you just need to charge your phone, no problem. The other cool thing I like is it has what I call snuggle mode. You flip that guy up right here, you come on over, you snuggle in with the, you know, the wifey, the loved one, you have a great shot to TV, sitting back, having the fireplace on, watching a movie, really just kind of being with each other, right? You know, putting your cell phones away, snuggling up, just enjoy, enjoying each other's company. And now, of course, you always have the sofa, which, you know, you can do that there as well. But I just like that you can in the theater seat, and it's a little bit bigger sitting, uh, seating. So if grandkids come, you can have grandkids there. You can have grandkids here. The other thing I like about this is it is big enough. If I want to lay down and take a little afternoon snooze, I have the capability to do that. Plus, this can fold out into a nice big bed. That's one of the great things about having a big living space is not only do you have plenty of seating for everyone, but you get sleeping space for people. So this folds out into a large bed. Two adults can very comfortably sleep here. You still get end tables. The windows all the way around. Um, you know, but our shades here, I, it probably is worth mentioning. You do have day shades as well as night shades. Show you those too. So you do have both options in the Montana, or not options, sorry. It comes with both, the standard, I should say. Don't want to confuse people. Uh, right up top is all of your storage. And while we're looking up at the ceiling, I do want to hit on a couple things. One, you will see in the trim and the crown molding up there, you have accent lighting all the way behind. You will see right up top is your fan. So you can circulate some air in here and quiet, cool AC. Now the thing, I, one, of, one of the things I love, really love about Montana is you have a quiet, cool AC back here. You have a quiet, cool AC in the bedroom. And if you take a look right up here, you will see a max air vent fan so that if you don't want to run AC, great. You can open up some windows, turn that on and circulate the air. But here's the other cool thing about this fan is that you see that little uh, white plate with the sticker on it. That's showing that that is prepped for a third AC. That's something you won't find in many fifth wheels, period. So if you're going somewhere where it's really warm and you want to make sure you have a lot of AC, this one is able to do it. As I mentioned before, huge countertop space over here. I mean, this is double, almost triple the size of what you normally get for this kitchen cooking space. And I love that. You get the big living area, you get a massive kitchen. Look at the size of this kitchen island. You want to talk about prepping food, you have the space to do it here. And one of my other favorite parts I love, look at that. Dedicated spot for a trash can, dedicated spot for a trash can. I have not one, but two trash cans right here. Very simple and easy to use. Slow close drawers, nice high-end amenities, storage underneath here, including a storage spot for my solid surface sink top covers. Big undermount stainless steel sink. This left bowl is huge. I love it. they put this in here. It's a very deep sink. Uh, a few years ago, actually, Montana took it away, and all the customers and all the forums were like, hey, we love that sink. We want it back. And Montana listened, they brought it back, and definitely, in my opinion, for the better. But of course, the cooktop right there, microwave, you have a wine rack up top, plenty of storage here. Norcold fridge freezer combo. As we open this one up, you can take a look. Now, with Montana, you get options, right? You can have your RV fridge like this, which is 18 cubic foot, mind you, and that is a very, very large um, fridge, uh, propane electric fridge freezer. The, I don't think there's currently anything on the market bigger than 18 that still runs off propane. But if you want residential, instead of a 3780 RL, you get a 3781 RL, and that'll have a residential fridge. That's gonna be the differentiator between those two numbers. And one of the best parts about that, folks, is this one right here for the show. 
This RV is starting at $74,995, which is only 15 bucks a day. That's an incredible deal for what you're getting. Uh, I guarantee it's cheaper than a house payment, and I don't know about you, but this is definitely an RV I could live in. And if you wanna take advantage of that, simply text the word RV to 466 Four, two. Another thing I love about this, multi-use. You walk in, you have a spot to hang up your jackets right there, or if you so choose, you have washer dryer prep. So if you want a washer and dryer, there it is. Very simple and easy to get to. Storage up across the top, more storage here, as well as all of our controls. Now we're running out of time, but I do wanna show you the bathroom and bedroom. Making our way up the steps, you'll see this grab handle. Nice and big, very easy to use. I like that it's large. If you come up into the bathroom, man, beautiful bathroom. Take a look at this. Solid surface countertops, folks. We're talking luxury RVs here. They didn't cheap out. So you have beautiful countertops, dual vanity, undermount, stainless steel bowls in there. As you would expect, you have the porcelain bowl and a one-piece fiberglass shower. That's a big deal. Uh, you know, a lot of manufacturers using several-piece showers. Uh, in here, in this Montana, it's a one-piece shower, so less chance for leaks. It's a residential-style shower in there, and I can easily stand up in it. When we come into the bedroom, a slide-out bed right over here. You can see, you know, windows in there, your nightstands, everything you need. Quiet, cool AC right here. Huge wardrobe. And because we don't have washer-dryer in here, this whole thing is dedicated wardrobe, so you have massive wardrobe space. A chest of drawers right down at the base of the bed, plus there's a TV, so if you want to watch TV at night, you can do so. I'm telling you, this is a beautiful, beautiful fifth wheel inside, and it doesn't stop there. As we make our way outside, a couple quick things on the door I want to show you. One, uh, they, we, they call this the slingshot, and it just a fancy name for saying that the door is going to shut itself. So if the grandkids come out, you don't have to worry about it. Boom, just like that. The other thing I really like about it, this right here, the screen defender. I don't know about you get folks, but I know a lot of people like to bring their dogs with them. The screen defender, if a dog jumps up there, it's gonna make sure it doesn't go through the screen. Now, the other thing I have is little children. You know, my one year old is starting to walk around now. If it's just the screen, this is gonna make sure she doesn't fall out of the screen, fall down the steps and get hurt. So I love that that is in there. A small feature, right? Some, but sometimes for me, it's those small things that make a huge difference. You have the more ride step above step system, auto level, a spot to hook up a TV right here if you want TV, plus central vac. And one of the coolest things about Montana for me is this, you get a massive garage. And why is that? Well, because they use what they call drop frame construction, where what they do is they take the I-beam, they stop it, and then they weld another little bit smaller I-beam uh, right down underneath that. And that still gives you great structural rigidity. You don't lose anything there, but you gain a ton of storage. You have a propane quick connect right there in case you wanna hook up a grill. You know, coming around to the front, beautiful painted front cap. You have the road armor, uh, kingpin right up here. Excellent storage up front. That le level up system is hydraulic, folks. You know, Montana has been one of the number one selling high profile fifth wheels for almost two decades for good reason. It's absolutely gorgeous. If you're interested in this one, text RV to 46642. Now, maybe you saw this and you loved it, but you think, Ian, I can't tow it. That's okay. There's other rear living fifth wheels out there for you and we can make sure it's gonna fit in your budget. All you have to do is text the word FRESH to that 46642 number and we'll make sure our specialists get a fifth wheel that is gonna work perfect just for you. <laughs> well, I am here with some of my favorite people on the planet, the Jergy, Sean Parr. And are you ready for this? There you go, sunshine. Look at you. <laughs> she is so happy. I love this segment, uh, Camping with the Kids, because it's so important mm -hmm. with so many families now getting on the road full time. Yes. So this is something I want to start out saying to anybody. If you want your kids to love camping, get them involved in camping. For example, I, I mean, I'm going to jump right into it with Avalyn. She has her own little headlamp. She's got like a little small lamp she can carry. She's got her, you know, life jacket. She's got her own camping stuff, you know, so her, she her feels own involved. tools to help when we're setting up the rig. Like she's she's there helping daddy, you know. And she loves it. So yeah. instead of giving her, you know, an iPad or a phone, you're gonna live the RV life. 
Be outside, live the RV life, let your kids love it. It's so much fun. And we've seen you guys. If you don't follow the Jurgies, you certainly should. You can follow them on YouTube or Instagram, anywhere on socials, because you guys take us along for the journey, but you show us your adventures as well. <laughs> when you're in the canoes, when you're out by the lake, when you're, and the fishing pole that you're holding there, Bryce, yeah. uh, yeah. with the kids and your beautiful daughters who you've allowed me to become <laughs> such a part of. I, I get to be the babysitter. You. But you, you actually get them involved in every aspect not, you know, just helping you set up, but really making it fun for them, too. Yeah, yeah we're big advocates of that. There, there was a study that um, we were looking at a while back that talks about how much time kids spend in front of the screen now versus before, and the benefits and the, the brain stimulus that happens when they're just outdoors is so beneficial, and so we love it. And anytime, like, I mean, Indy right here is just such a happy baby. She's in, <laughs> so as you know. Nobody could tell watching this at all, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> and whenever Avalyn, when she was born, when she was three months is when we went on the road full time. And anytime she was like starting to get irritable, we would just go outside. And yeah. it just... It was easier and natural. Let's talk about some of the products that we have here because you've yeah. chosen several things. And, uh, mm -hmm. Nelly, why don't you go ahead and tell us what you have here? Okay. So, I mean, simple, simple stuff. I mean, we got plasticware, which when you're traveling, you definitely need plasticware um, because things rattle when you move. And then, you know, things like I was saying, just to get them involved, have their own headlamps, have their own lamps. Then we got the outdoor stuff. Actually, Ian showed me this earlier. This is a trailer nightlight. How adorable is that? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> so you just cute. plug those in and it's kind of cool and they just like to play with the little toys. And yeah. then I see we have the spin brights here. And I was looking at these earlier. They have these, these they have a lot of different lights that you could put on tires and toys for the kids that really make them their own. Yeah, they can go ride their bike at night around the yeah. campsite. They'll love it. This isn't my fishing pole, although you might think so. She's but. been begging for a fishing pole. Yeah, so they got things like this they can take part of that are super kid friendly, effective, and the chalk. I mean, everywhere you park, you usually have a cement pad. But so always can we do chalk. Uh, one thing I want to point out here, which is amazing. Look at this camping chair. <laughs> exactly. It's a high chair, but for camping, and it's for like little kids, and yes. they love it. It's so great. Another little hack that we liked was, you know, the wagon, the portable wagon. Lots of times there's trails around the RV campsite. And now she's a superstar. <laughs> She'll have her own show on YouTube in about 20 minutes. So, but that's a great thing. You can take the kids everywhere. Yeah. They're happy. You're, their children are so happy. And follow along their adventures. They're the jergies. They bring us into their world. And it's so nice to know that you can take the kids out on the road. The national tour continues coming up. Camping World is the one-stop shop for all your outdoor essentials. Shop chairs and side tables starting at only $9.99. And patio lights starting at $10.99. Grills for only $9.99? Who knew travel could be so easy? Your vacations just got a little brighter, a little tastier, and a little cozier. See America for less when you shop at Camping World. Now, I think it would be impossible to talk about great living spaces and fifth wheels without touching on a front living. And that's exactly what we're in right now. But one of the things I want you to think about while we're going through this Sabre is the price point. And folks, I'm gonna hit you with it in just a second. You are gonna be amazed at what you get for the current show price of this RV. Now, this is the 2021 Forest River, Forest River Sabre 37 FLL. And this is a great front living, but here's the real kicker on this one. You can sleep up to eight people. So before, when you had a front living, it's more of a couple's model, right? It, that, that's kind of what it's built toward. That's what it's geared toward. You have great seating up here. I mean, you have, you know, a sofa here. You can see right across the way, we have another sofa, plus you have theater seating. And as normal, you know, you have your kitchen in the middle and bedroom in the back. So your only other sleeping space is right here up front. And it's not something you want to make up all the time. So, you know, while some people, yes, did use them for families, it wasn't necessarily always the best option. But here's what I love about this one, is you get a great living space, you get an excellent kitchen, you have a ton of uh, bedroom space, and as I mentioned, sleeping for up to eight people. And folks, this one starts for the show at 58 dollars which is under 12 bucks a day. It's like $11.80 a day. 
You want to talk about a great value, you're going to see it right here in this Sabre. So we talked about the great seating, and of course, both these sofas do fold out, and that's part of uh, the way you're able to sleep eight in here. You have a big TV on this front wall. Now, it's a mid-profile, which, you know, at first you may not love, but here's the thing about mid-profile. It's going to be a little bit lighter on weight. This one, dry, is under 12,000 pounds, and when we start talking about towing, that is a big deal. Now, I don't currently have it on, but there are LED light strips in the crown molding here, too, which look really nice that lights up all the way throughout right so you're getting that beautiful lighting that tv right there everyone can see it a ton of storage electrical outlets usb ports multimedia center and a fireplace everything that you need to make a great front living room this one has you also see the zebra shades on here and i really like these if you haven't seen them before they're weighted and what it allows you to do is easily control the amount of light you let in see so they call them zebra because it kind of looks like zebra stripes. If I don't want a lot of light, I just do that right there. If I want to let you know a little more in, I can stop it right there. Or I can let the full amount in, but it gives you, you know, nice, easy flexibility to how much you want in here. Dual AC units come standard. So you'll have one right here, another one a little bit further back in the kitchen. The thing I love about this, boom, quick dump option. If you're gonna be up here, it's warm. We all know hot air rises. You wanna be able to cool it down quick. That is what lets you do it. You open up that quick dump, all that nice cool air is gonna come right down here, especially if you're in the prime seat, right? The, the theater seating, you're gonna cool off in a hurry, which is awesome. And maybe you want the opposite. Maybe you want it a little bit warmer up here. No problem. You have the fireplace. When it's elevated, that means it's gonna heat the space up quick. Quickly. Plus, you have heat on here and vibration and a little light if you want uh, a light in your cup holder. And, of course, you have the cup holders themselves. Now, let's step down into the kitchen because it's a great kitchen as well. One of the things I really like is actually right over here, and that's the fact you get like a little bar space. And, you know, I, I like to uh, have a few beverages when I camp. It's no mystery, right? It's no secret. You can see that right here, solid surface there. You know, you have your uh, electrical outlet, USB ports, a little bit of storage up top. Me personally, this is where I'm putting my rocks glasses, maybe my bitters, right? Can hide them right up there. And then I have, you know, some, uh, some other items right out here, you know, maybe my bourbon or even better yet, I can tuck it away right in here, right? That's me. Now, if you want to use this for dishes, if you want to use it for coffee, whatever else you may need, great. For me personally, this is going to be my bar set up right here. This is where I'm making my cocktails. You have some other storage right down underneath that. Also, the main seating area for dining will be right over here. You have a freestanding table and chairs, windows all the way around to let in a lot of natural light. And I absolutely love the light fixtures for the 2021 in this Sabre. I think it's a very cool look, you know, bringing in that farmhouse style. Uh, it's simplistic, but at the same time, just it just works. It looks great. Now, the other cool thing about this is if you see this, you kind of have this bar top. Look, it sticks out over the, uh, the cabinets down underneath. That means if you have some bar stools, you can have a bar stool or there as, as well. And so you have some more seating right here in the kitchen. Beautiful solid surface countertops all the way throughout. You have the kind of uh, almost like gunmetal or black stainless steel apron front sink. I love that look. The high rise faucet on there. Storage all the way throughout. Nice big storage. I mean, you know, if, if you're thinking that front living rooms can't have storage you would be sadly mistaken because you definitely have a lot of storage there underneath the electrical outlet you know of course you'll have a couple of those drawer space there uh, you'll see your three burner recessed cooktop another electrical outlet here and a full wall backsplash which i like it looks complete to me you know and, and instead of having one behind the sink because you don't need it they put a big window there which i think was very smart lets in a lot of uh, a natural light during the day microwave right there if you need it as well now uh, oh, I should probably mention fridge freezer over here. Very important thing. You want to make sure that you have a lot of cold storage. This certainly has that as well. This one does run off both propane and electric. Open that up for you so you can take a quick look. And as you can see, there's good space in there. Now, what really makes this one unique is this back space. We'll go back there in just a second. I do want to show you the bathroom real quick here first. So if we take a look, you can see your, um, your toilet right down underneath porcelain bowl folks it means it's easy to clean it'll stay looking nice for a long time you have your sink right over here now because this one isn't up front right your your ceiling heights you know you're thinking may not be as tall but look I still have plenty of uh, head height in here. I'm six foot tall. I could be six three and stand in here and still shower, no problem. I also have a seat for shaving my legs or sitting down, tri-slide glass door, you know, uh, the met mirrored medicine cabinet. As I said, big sink in there, which I like. Makes it easy to wash your hands or brush your teeth without making a complete mess. 
This is where it gets really cool when we head up here. So you'll see a sunken bedroom. We'll go in there in just a moment. I wanna show you this. You have some storage right there. But then as we head up, you have the stairs right here. As we head up to my left, over on this side is all excellent storage. So you have a big storage area right here, an LED light, you know, kind of a, a, like a lofted storage, almost a mezzanine of sorts. I love that that is over there, but even more impressive is right above the bedroom on this side is additional sleeping space. It is a big additional sleeping space. You have a spot to hook up TV, plug in, uh, you know, electric outlet, USB ports, more storage. They, and that is how you're able to sleep eight people in here is because of what they did in this back section which is fantastic and when i come back down as i said a sunken bedroom we step down into the bedroom back here and you'll see the queen bed right in the center night stands on both sides again those beautiful wall sconces on that kind of decorative wall board there big storage up top plenty of windows in here you want to make sure you have windows to let in some natural light because again it does you know it is a little bit lower but more importantly is the fact that you have a slide for storage because you know you have to have uh, bedroom storage and that's exactly what it has you have wardrobe on both sides you have some storage right there in the center uh, also over to this side if you want washer and dryer in this unit because chances are you're gonna have a lot of people sleeping in here right probably gonna want to do some laundry you have a spot right there for a combo washer dryer unit so uh, and if you want tv you'll have tv be able to hook up right there so as i said folks now bear in mind you get all of this starting at under fifty nine thousand dollars i mean you want to talk about a crazy deal this one right here is exactly that and all you need to do to take advantage of that is text the word rv to 46642 and i'm telling you if you've been out there and maybe you know you got a great deal on one which i you're not going to beat this deal right here on this one but let's say you're shopping something else and you're, you have a great deal or so you think i'll tell you what folks we're going to beat that deal or we're going to give you a thousand bucks and we can prove it because all you have to do is text the word beat b-e-a-t and we're going to beat it so stinking hard that if we can't we're going to give you a thousand bucks in your pocket and i could do a lot with a thousand bucks folks i'm telling you you are going to want to take advantage of that uh, you know what, let's come around up front real quick. I'll watch the slide, don't, don't hit your head there. I do just want to show you, you have the front cap. You can see the lights that are inlaid on both sides as well as right down underneath here. If we take a look up front, auto level, folks. Touch a button, it's going to level itself out. Again, all that for under 59K, starting at $11.80. You get all that space, beautiful living room, and it comes with auto level right there. Solar charge controller, if you want solar, you can see spare tires mounted right in there, so that way it's super easy to access. This is one of our slide outs here. You see the worm gear driven system, works great, electric. You have your garage storage right here. Uh, you can see the control for your uh, slide system right there. The cool thing about that is in the rare event this ever does fail, you can hit this button, I think it's six, maybe seven times. Don't quote me, but it is six or seven times and it will flash a code so you can see exactly what it is. You can also manipulate a few of these wires and that will uh, actually allow you to run the motors in reverse, which sometimes will fix it. Or if you pull them completely, it'll or get rid of the brakes. You can take you know two or three people and actually manually push this slide in. So there's all sorts of things you can do to troubleshoot that slide system. Absolutely wonderful. Super easy to get into the RV. You have your uh, more ride step above step system here with the four aluminum steps with the grips. You will also see the grab handle, which makes it easier to enter or exit that RV. And there's a window built in. Take a look at this door. How cool is this, right? You have like a tempered glass door. So that window is just built right in there. Super seamless and beautiful and allows you to see outside. And as we make our way back a little bit further, you want an outside kitchen? You got it. You want to do some cooking out here? You have the capability to do it. Come out here with a pan, some bacon, frying it up. You know, the kids are going to wake up, be super happy because you have eggs and bacon and pancakes. Oh my. You see your outside fridge. Now this one right here is for me because that's where I'm putting my beer. But as I said, maybe once in a while, put some juice or something else out there for the kids. Maybe some condiments if we're having burgers. But let's be honest, it'll be full of beer. Uh, you will also see, again, our auto level right in the back there. Uh, this one, of course, has your enclosed underbelly making our way to the back. You'll see the rear mounted ladder so you can climb up onto the fully walkable roof. And there is backup camera prep. That, of course, with a bigger RV like this, you know, this one's uh, a 42 foot nine inches on this one. So, you know, having that backup camera may not be a bad idea. So you're able to see what's behind you. You know, it's, it's a big RV. You want to be able to see what's going on. 
Um, another cool thing, you know, I mean, you can see, if you take a look up there, folks, that's pretty high up, right? Now, I always personally recommend getting up on your roof at least once, probably twice a year for basic maintenance. Here's the cool thing. If you don't want to do it, no problem. Bring it by any Camping World location. We'll, ha we'll gladly get up on the roof for you, do a basic inspection, make sure everything is on the up and up. And if anything does need to be repaired, we'll take pictures of it so you can see it and let you know. But folks, I'm telling you, if you're passing up this deal, you're missing out. If you're looking for something with a great living space, a front living like this, capability of sleeping eight, 76 gallon gray tank on there, it's a killer deal for this show. All you have to do to take advantage of it is text the word RV to 46642, and you can be seeing the country the safest way possible in this beautiful Sabre 37 FLL. They say life is about the little things, those moments we unplug, packing up the camper after a long week, making room for new memories. You and me, we meant to be in the great outdoors. ridden the trail, if you've discovered beauty that's left you speechless, or laughed like you haven't laughed in years, if the food tastes remarkably better, and the friendship is somehow deeper, you've probably been camping. You and me were meant to be in the great outdoors, forever It's the best America has to offer, and it's meant to be shared. RVing is for everyone. Sean Parr and I am so blessed right now to be sitting here. We're getting ready for a staff pick, and this is one of my favorite segments that we do on the national tour as we continue the Ultimate RV Show, because I'm sitting here with one of the longest running staff members that we have, and he is the president of the Western region of Camping World, Gander RV and Outdoor. Scott Jensen, it is so great to sit with you, my friend, and how are you, first of all? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you, Sean. Uh, glad to be here. and. Glad to tell you the Camping World story. Yeah, you do have a remarkable story about how you and your dad and your family really became a part of the Camping World family. I mean, your dad started this, you know, back in the 60s. And of course, with it all started really with a couple of car dealerships. Yes, he was the general manager for the oldest Dodge dealership west of the Mississippi. And that's where he started in 69 and then decided that he could do it himself. And I love the fact that when dad decided to go off on his own and your neighbor was like the mayor and decided he wanted to get a camper for his truck and see if we could do that and went to your dad and dad made a couple of calls. Next thing you know, you could get one, but you had to buy three. That's correct. Uh, the mayor of Lee Olson was his name. He, uh, he come to my dad and my dad didn't have an answer for him so he's give me a couple of days I'll find an answer for you and he went down into one of the manufacturers down in central Utah and a guy by the name of Gene Molden said uh, you know Blaine I'll I can't sell you one but I can sell you three and so we my dad decided it's time let's try it and you, you had those sold in like 20 minutes <laughs> yeah, by Saturday <laughs> it came the first of the week and by Saturday sold and funny thing is he called Gene up again and said, you know, we'll take three more. And they sold and sold. And then by the end of the year, we had sold 99 truck campers. And we were that manufacturer's number one camper dealer in the world. That is truly an incredible story. And it didn't just stop with campers. It also continued with travel trailers. And then we moved on to RVs. And you guys became the biggest RV dealership. You had a couple of dealerships right here in this area and in the state of Utah, if there was an RV sold, they came to you and your family. We always at least got a shot at them. So we had Blaine Jensen RV and then we acquired Ardell Brown RV. So all through the 90s, basically for every four RVs sold, we sold one of the four. And uh, That's amazing when you think about good. that. One in four RVs sold was, was sold by your amazing, the Jensen family. Yeah. 
That's incredible. Oh, and then here we are today, 2004, Marcus Lemonis comes to you and says, you know what? We'd like you to be part of the Camping World family. That's right. And we told him no a couple of times <laughs> <I know. laughs> because right. we're family and we had a great thing going. But eventually, uh, as, as we talked about brothers and we talked about it and uh, it became uh, evident that that was probably a good business move. And so in 2004, we told Marcus to, to bring us aboard. My yep. favorite part, Scott, of this whole story is the fact that all of the employees that worked for you and your family are now senior vice presidents and presidents of the company and CEOs and different people who work in the upper management of our Camping World family. So you did right. Yeah, my, <laughs> my brother picked up, moved back to Chicago to work with Marcus, and my accountant picked up and he went back to work for Marcus. And then uh, my other brothers and my sister, we kind of spread out over the country because and helped help put together a, a process. Scott, you've been doing this for a long time. How many years has it been now? My whole life. 40. Yeah, exactly. Because your dad had you <laughs> screwing on those, uh, you know, Jack. lifters to get oh, yeah. the jacks to yeah. get the uh, campers yeah, on. Yeah, my dad was tight. He he used to buy all the campers without the the lifts, the jacks, and then he'd buy the jacks local, and I'd be the one putting them on. So uh, that started back in '76. It is a Cinderella story when we talk about this family of RVs and Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoor and having you still all these years as part of this area and the president of the Western region. And you have some amazing stores and some incredible other stories of families like yours who have come to join the Camping World family as well. And I think that we set precedence for that. And then a lot of the other stores said, well, if the Jensen's are going to do it, Maybe there's something there we ought to look at. And I believe that we were a precedence in bringing other family businesses to Camping World. And now uh, we, every, every month we bring on new family businesses to join the Camping World family because it's still a family. Yeah, and we exactly. feel that same way still today uh, inside our, our region. It's, it's a family thing. And that's the greatest thing about Camping World is you can really feel that when you become part of this family. I, I've done, since I was a little kid in Southern California growing up, Camping World has always been a part of our family. You know, being out on the road, being with my kids, then it was another generation. You know, and now I'm going to get to the grandkids stuff someday. I'm not that up there yet, but you know, <laughs> it, that's what it's all about. Generation to generation. And I love that we, and you're, you're never going to leave Camping World, by the way. I'm sorry. You're with us forever. <laughs> I, well, I am for sure now. Cause, yeah. Uh, cause well, we're I'm, so glad that this story has been told. And as a matter of fact, there's a, there's a lot of stories just like yours, like you said. And we talk about staff picks. You've got a staff pick coming up that uh, you're going to give your blessing to. And tell us all about what we got. So we got a Winnebago, who's one of the premier motorhome manufacturers there is. They're, we're going to, the staff had picked uh, a little a Na Navion, which is a Sprinter chassis, so it's a little smaller Class C that has a little diesel engine in it, and it's uh, 24D, so a great floor plan, great uh, class, and great manufacturer building it. I know for a fact that Ian and Luke are ready to go with our staff pick, so with your blessing, Scott, it is such a pleasure to talk to you, to have you as part of this Ultimate RV Show. I am so thrilled to be sitting on this stage with such a legend. Thank you so much for being here and being a part of our wonderful national tour. Thank you, Sean. All right, let's jump into Ian and Luke, see what they got for us. Here's the staff pick. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of my absolute favorite segments every week because this is the staff pick. I am joined by my good friend Luke here, also known as the RV Ninja. <laughs> We're here in uh, Salt Lake City, Utah. And I don't know any martial arts, by the way. <laughs> so don't beat me up. <laughs> Buddy, I love what you've picked. We have the, the Winnebago Navion 24D. Tell me a little bit about this one. Tell me why you love this motorhome. This is probably my favorite Class C uh, motorhome because it's, it's, it's on the, the, the fuel efficient Sprinter, Mercedes Sprinter chassis, the diesel chassis, 20 to 22 miles uh, to the gallon. Super Excellent. fuel efficient. Yep. But of all the, the, the Class C's mo models, this is probably my favorite in terms of length, 24 feet. Yep. You can get in and out of town. I have to worry about you know, parking a 30 footer. Yep. But also uh, with the big slide down on the other side that we'll show here in a second, it's probably got the most sleeping capacity as well. Awesome. Of, of, of any Class C. And, so. and, and we still have a, a 5,000 pound hitch on there, right? So if, yeah. we want, if we want a tow vehicle behind us, it's no problem, can still do it. Yeah, plenty of torque, 182 horsepower. 
Love uh, it. The S30 engine, it's, it's awesome. Well, I mean, I know it's beautiful outside and we'll get to some of the features out here because there's definitely a lot to talk yeah. about. But one of the things I love about this one is the inside. It's very unique, very modern, mm -hmm. kind of European styling. Yes, it's very European. But first of all, check this out. The keyless entry, fingerprint entry on all three doors. Oh, really? Yeah, so pretty cool. That is cool. All right, let's come on it. Man, that is a cool door too, actually. Yeah. Looks like you have a little shade in there. Things heavy duty. Yeah, shade, shade storage. Won't have to worry about it rattling around while you're driving. No, I mean, there's, there's just plenty of conveniences in this. Oh yeah, look at this. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, tell me, tell me a little bit about what we have going on. Let's start off with the kitchen. I always like to start with the kitchen. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's because, you know, like I, I do a lot of cooking myself yeah, or, yeah, or what it may yeah, be. Yeah. Um, but tell me a little bit about what we have going on here. It's beautiful, it's bright, it's yeah, clean. Yeah, beautiful, bright, side-by-side -side kitchen. People love this. Side-by-side -side sink when they're washing dishes. Yep. Uh, I mean, it's almost a necessity to have the, the, the two uh, sinks there. Yeah, st it's um, stainless steel, nice and nice Yeah, and nice stainless steel. Yep, high-rise faucet, is yeah. that a pull-out? Yep. yep. Great. Stainless steel, uh, plenty of cabinet space to have your food close by while you're cooking. Okay. Now, were these cutting boards underneath the, did I see that? Underneath here? Oh yeah, yeah. look at that, yep. perfect. Well, and so, so one of the things I always tell people, right, because a lot of times I'll come with like the plastic ones, I always say, you know, just use one side so that way you'll have one yep. side that stays looking nice. Yep. And right here, man, you don't have to worry about it. Like, they yeah. already set it up for you. You're good to go. Yeah. I love that they did yeah. that. If you're going to do any non-cutting, I'd, I'd do it on the plastic side. Yep. Just easier to clean. Yeah, yeah, absolutely food prep, true. Just put your food right there. Perfect. Now, what about the cooktop? What do we have going on? So you like got, so you, yeah, so you got two options. Some people like the, you know, the, the fuel efficiency of, of the, the propane. Sure. So you get the propane stove here. Some people like the, the conductive uh, cooktop, the electric cu cooktop. It's easier to clean. Yes. Right. Um, and one of the things. And so it's best of both worlds. Yeah. Well, and, and like you said, right, exactly that. You, you get options. So if you don't want to use propane and you're plugged in, you can use induction, right? If right. you're out and about, you can use the propane. So you have the options. And I personally really like induction um, just because, you know, it, it heats up quick. It cools down quick. Like you said, it's super quick, easy cleanup. Yeah, um, I think induction is, yeah, is fantastic. I have this at home. It's easier to clean. <laughs> not not just a ninja, but you're a cook as well. <laughs> <laughs> not a great cook. <laughs> Good storage. What else do we have in there? So what you got uh, on board uh, is you know, another thing I like about the the Navion. It's built to be to live off the grid. Okay. And it's got the the generator out front uh, in the back. So you can pull on the side of the road, you can live off the grid on this, and it's got solar panels on board. Here's all your solar controls uh, right here. Tell you okay. what your charges are. But all in you know one nice um, convenient location. Yeah, look at that. And I, I, like you said, I love that it comes with solar on board. Yeah. You know, So if you want to be able to get out and just you know do a little bit of boondocking, just make sure your battery stays topped yep. off. It gives you that ability. And it looks like when I was in here that you have uh, tank heaters as well. Yeah, so okay. that's going to... For cold weather. Yeah, uh, for sure. It's it's not super warm out right now. <laughs> right. A lot of, most Class Cs don't have the tank heaters. Yep. Um, and so when you're traveling in cold weather, you'll want that. And that runs off a 12 volt, so you can be driving down the road. You don't have to worry about you know turning your furnace on, or uh, you know turning anything else on. It'll just run off your batteries. Very cool. Now, Luke, tell me a little bit about the cabinetry. I see that it says Technoform on there. It's beautiful. I mean, it's curved. You know, you can see the yeah. curved wood. It has like a nice gloss to it. Nice gloss, durable, okay. just easy to clean. Yep. Uh, some people like the white color because they can see the stains, so they can yeah, make sure you clean easily it up clean and... it. Right. Uh, nice thing about Winnebago is, you know, they they build a lot of their own components. Yes. And so if you crack this for some reason, have a crazy night, run into it, <laughs> crack it. I would never do that. You you can call them the Winnebago factory, and you know each one of these are assigned a serial number and they should be able to get you a replacement pretty easily. Well, one of the other things I noticed, the, the latch there, right? So it looks like yeah. it's a positive locking latch to make sure everything doesn't fall out. Right. That's cool. Like so, something you see kind of like in an airplane, right? Exactly. So you just kind of push that guy down. You can see right there. Yeah, and that's gonna lock it in place. I love that too. 
Yeah. Boom. Gotta, uh, Simple. Be ahead of the curve here with Winnebago. And it looks like it's two tone, a little bit, you know, you got the wood look down below. Tons of storage down yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I love I love just the that, that mix, right? Of of metal, wood, and uh, you know that, that nice that polished bright white surface. Yeah. Yeah, white. that's beautiful. What do we got underneath the sink? I always like to see if they have uh, yep. So this is one of my favorite things I talk about is having space for a trash can, right? I hate when manufacturers right. build a motor home. I don't have a space to put a trash can, but here you have no problem whatsoever. Looks like a whole house filter there too. Yeah, the water filter, that's yep. a big deal. You know, yeah. you don't have to carry water bottles, you know, take up more space, yep. you know, weight. Well, it, it's one of those things I always tell people, right? Like there's, there's just essentials that you need when you go camping. Mm -hmm. And you know, you're talking about uh, you know, water pressure regulator. You're looking at uh, some kind of surge guard. And then a water filter is one of them because you never know what kind of water you're gonna pull in. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't wanna be drinking sand. No. It's just, it's just not, it doesn't sound appealing to me. If you're in California, I'd never touch the tap water in California. <laughs> so that's, hey, listen, I'm, I'm drinking what, this water. I'm, I'm from Michigan, this is town called Flint. And let me tell you a little something oh, about geez. the water issue there. I, yeah, I know about Flint. <laughs> Well, let's come on back a little bit. Looks like, uh, so our fridge is here. Now, does this run off both propane and electric? Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, it's, a, it's a North Pole. Okay, excellent. So uh, you can choose, you know, the, the mode that you want it in. Yeah, it looks nice and big. Looks like you have some yeah, storage, plenty, adjustable shelves yeah, there. Yeah, 10 cubic feet, fridge, plenty of space. Love that. Pepper freezer, fridge. I love that. I love the toe kick lighting too, underneath, right? Like it, it really kind of adds something. Yeah, all that accent lighting. You yes, know, up top, up here. down low. Kind of no matter where you're at, it just no, feels just bright, open. Modern, feels like a hotel on wheels. More storage over here. Some pull out drawers. I like that. Yeah. Good pantry the, storage. With this layout, with this big slide out that goes all the way out, there's just there's so much space in this one. That's why it's my favorite Navion. Yeah. Absolutely. And speaking of that slide out, let's actually talk a little bit about what we have going on here. Um, because I, if, if I, I'm not mistaken, right, we have some options in this one. So that we have it with the U dinette. Right. But I believe that you can also get this with theater seating. Yep. Is that correct? That's exactly right. Okay. Now, this also has something that I love that I played with earlier. And, <laughs> and that, that is right here on the end. Right. So here, you know, a lot of times in a U dinette, right, it's all about the seating, but you lose the ability to sit down and this, right. right? See, it just pops up like yeah. that. You get the foot rest, so you right. can just put your back right up against yeah. there, you know, lay your feet out. And the TV, it's, it's a direct shot to the TV and right. sidebar from right there. If you're there. traveling in a big group, you got plenty of, of seating space, right? You mm -hmm. got the couch here. You take the tabletop off of there, right? Take the tabletop off. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then you can relax. Well, and I just, you know, just for anyone watching, right? I mean, I'm six foot tall and I can sit here no problem. I mean, this is very comfortable. And again, I have a, right here, I have a straight shot yeah, to the TV. Yeah, I would, I would definitely fall asleep in this watching yeah. TV. This is great. Super man. comfy. This high end cushions. This is not cheap furniture. No, no, it's very comfortable. This isn't your grandma's uh, Winnebago anymore. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then it looks like you have both day and night shades yeah. on here. Yeah. This is another thing I, I, I always talk about, right? Is I like when manufacturers use, for their nightshades, use a beige instead of black. Mm -hmm. Because because either one is gonna block out the sunlight, right? right? But at nighttime, when I close this down, right. to me, it feels more open than if you just have this big black wall. It just seems right. to kind of close in. But I right. love that, right. you know, it's everything's, again, nice and bright in here, all around. Yeah. Great yeah. storage up yeah. top there. There's lighting in the storage, so you can see what you're grabbing for at night. And we have a couple seatbelts, right? Because for, for <coughs> another thing for me, Luke, and, and yeah. you know, I don't know, maybe it's uh, different for you, but one of my favorite parts about RVing and camping in yeah. a motorhome is the drive there, right? It, right. It's the ride because right. everyone's right here, you know, driver, passenger right. seat, everyone's sitting around the dinette having a good time. Mm -hmm. It's super comfortable. Like you said, very comfortable furniture. You don't feel closed in. Right. You know, you can plug in your, your phones, electronics. Right. Um, you know, and I just, I just love the, the, the journey. Right, right. You know, and so this is this this layout's really flexible. Yep, it's got a lot of sleeping space if you need it. Yep, this turns into a bed. That's a bed, and then of course you get your Murphy bed back there, which we're going to put down here in a second. But yes, um, you know, three seat belts on this, two okay. over there. Okay. So, you know, being able to sleep six people as well as being able to seat, uh, you know, travel. 
Yeah. With six people. That's really fantastic. Cool. Yeah. And what, what, what is the length on this one? What would it be? 24 and a half? Is that 24 and a half feet. Yeah. yeah. Total length. Which is, like you said, for that size, being able to sleep six is phenomenal. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's why I like this, this layout, the flexibility. Well, we talked about the Murphy bed. Let's show that real quick, because this is something that's really cool. I will let you drop that sucker down All right. and uh, show everyone how this one works. Because this is, this is a really cool thing, and I, I just haven't seen it a ton, right? Yeah, so with this Murphy bed, super convenient. The button's in the bathroom. It's just push the down button, and it comes down on its own. You don't have to do a, a thing other than to pull these legs off. All right. <laughs> Other than that, yeah. we got it. All right. All right. I think we can handle that part. <laughs> yeah. Just so, like that. Yeah. It doesn't just slam on the ground, right? I love it. Yeah. No, that's super comfy. This isn't, you know, cheap RV mattress. All right. I got to do the test, right? I'm six foot tall. Yeah. I always have to know. Hey, you know what? I can, I can actually make that work. Put a pillow right here. Yeah. yeah, that's you know that. And, and so stay there for a second. So yeah, when you've got all these guests, right? Maybe it's your, you're you're in there with your wife and you want some privacy. These come with curtains. They go all the way around. Oh, look at that! All right. This attaches right to the ceiling. Yeah, yeah. That one goes that, over oh, here. Oh, we're gonna trade here. I'll trade yeah, you. You put I'll that trade one you. on. Okay. Pretty quick. Let's see if I can figure this out here. Yeah. Oh, those are, all right. Pretty so let's go. Oh yeah. Nope, that's not bad at all. I got three hooks. There we go. Well, I put it on backwards, but you guys get the uh, <laughs> 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 you get the idea. All right. So that goes there. Click that one in place. Yeah. Oh, maybe. There we go. Okay. Oh, wrong way in. <laughs> Yeah, no, I can definitely see yeah, how pretty. that, uh, the other thing I like about it too that I'm noticing is yeah. that if you, like you said, if you have other guests, you can still get to the, still get to the bathroom. Yeah, still get to the bathroom. You know, you want some alone time with your wife. <laughs> you can have some cuddle time, but. Yes, yeah, it has to pretty much stop there, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You block the view, you can't block the noise, so. <laughs> so pretty cool. This, yeah. I like that. That you is You still neat. get the privacy. Yep. And and like you said, it, it honestly, I mean, it's pretty quick and easy to, to yeah. set up and tear down too. Like that doesn't, yeah. it's not bad at all. Yep. And Love then with it. the Murphy, I just push the button up and. She goes right back up. Yep. Got the headboard, storage, some lights up there. I also like the window. Uh, that, that's always one of the things that I always enjoy, you know, uh, right next to the bed is having a window in case I don't want to yeah, run the AC. Yeah, sure. You know, you know just you open want, the window up. You want that openness. Yeah. Electrical outlet, so you can plug in cell phones, yeah. CPAP machine. Yeah, plugs everywhere. This is really cool. And then this has got the best bathroom of any Navion too. So if you want to Put the bed back up All right, and we so can go back to the bathroom. Let's see if I can figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, the nice thing is, is you don't even have to take these cushions out, right? Yeah, no, I love that. Let's see, is these just pull? What do you got here? Ah, thank you, sir. Nice thing about this is got nice hidden storage under here as well. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, just storage everywhere on this thing. Well, let's, let's come back in the bathroom real quick yeah. here, Fritz. This thing, man, Luke just hit the nail on the head. There is a lot of space in here. Yeah, for Class C, this has got one of the best bathrooms with that bathroom in the back. And this right here is something else that I love, having this hanging rod in here. Because, you know, if, if you don't use your shower a ton, this gives you a spot to hang up your clothes. Mm -hmm. You know, or, or if you uh, go swimming, you have a wet swimsuit, you can just hang it right yeah. up here. You're good to go. Got a nice adjustable shower head. And, and again, six foot tall. Now, you know, of course I'd remove this if I'm showering, but with that skylight, dude, I can be six, two, six, three, and still stand in here yeah, and shower sure. no and problem. You, and you get your shoes on too, so. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hopefully you don't shower with your shoes on. <laughs> I try not to. <laughs> if, if I do, I may have had one too many, you know? <laughs> oh, you got a big wardrobe in there too. Yeah. Okay, and it looks odd. So there's our table. I was wondering, I saw a spot for, yeah, the, uh, little, for a table there. Yeah, there's a little card table here. Yep. Okay, yes, okay. Oh, I didn't even notice yeah, it was so up we, in the cab. I, I saw this one yeah. by the sofa. So you can spin let's, these seats around. Let's take a look at the cab. 
can hang out right here. Everybody can hang out. But this is, you know, one of my favorite parts about this is the Mercedes oh, cabin. <laughs> so that's one of the, the new features, right? See that? She's already asking us how she can help us. Uh, find a local restaurant. Oh, oh now I did it. That's, that's really cool, though. I love that. Uh, okay, so it has navigation built in. Yeah. Top then features. Just, yeah. Now, now with, with the Mercedes, right, it, we get, do we get some of the safety features? I don't, I don't know, that, all, that's a big one. You get all the, the technological safety features on this that you've so, signed on. So lane assist. On most, lane um, assist, brake control, brake okay. assist. You get too close to, uh, you know, a vehicle in front, it'll, it'll control the brakes for you. That's awesome. Now, does it have a, a rain sensor or anything for the windshield? Yeah, it does. It has, okay. It's got a rain sensor. It's got uh, adaptive uh, cruise. cruise control. Very cool. The uh, Mercedes calls it Distronic. Okay. But uh, if you get too close to a vehicle, it'll slow you down. But once the vehicle, uh, you know, leaves out of a safe distance, it'll get you back up to the speed that you had set it at. You know, and that, that's one of those things that I think uh, people often overlook is the safety features that come with it. You know, because right. things like that, you know, especially if you're, you're doing a, a long trip, yeah. um, you know, you're a little tired, having those extra safety features is what, you know, could yeah, really keep uh, you safe. For sure. And, you know, it's got the, the collision sensors on the side and in the back. Okay. Um, nice, nice big dash, yeah, too. Just all, all the conveniences of your, you know, your, your smart devices. Okay. This is a wireless charger port right here. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, is, is that, is that USB-C? Yeah. I've never seen that in a car. I, I did, no, I, I haven't seen it in yeah. any RV period, yeah. nor like you said, I haven't even seen it in a vehicle yet. So it's it's uh, compatible with Apple CarPlay and, okay. and Google. Very cool. Android. That's awesome. Yeah, it's all it's got all the state of the art. Man, yeah, I mean you can see all the controls on the dash, leather wrapped steering wheel on here too. Yeah, uh, lumbar support, right? Lumbar on the side here. Okay. Your, your left. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I, I like that. Yeah, so you can control the... It feels like you not only can you move it in and out, but you can move it yeah. up and down too, yeah. that, which th that's something else that I really like because, you know, sometimes you get into a car and yeah. lumbar support yeah. isn't hitting where it needs to. Yeah. That's cool. And then power seats I see here on right. the side. Yeah. Man. And so this is, this is why I love, for Class C, I love yeah. the Mercedes chassis because yep. unlike the, the gas versions, right, you usually have a back here. You can't... Spin around. You can't spin around. You can't lean, lean back. Far back. Yep. Yes, you can. It's all electronic controls right here. That's awesome. Well, let's uh, let's hit the outside. I mean, the inside is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. There's a ton a ton on here, but I know you know. Like I said, we wanted to make sure we hit that outside. Talk a little bit about construction. Yeah. There's okay. a lot there, and uh, my, my your, your pack off. fell out. <laughs> ah, you're fine. You're fine. You're good. <laughs> all right. Yeah, let's go outside. Yeah. Power steps as well. Yeah, you come out, we'll close the steps and you'll be able to see the steps. All right, so yeah, yeah, here, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna close it right here yeah. real quick, see what we got. Yeah. Nice and low. Yep. Um, Tell me a little bit, so what do we have? I mean, it looks like you have good storage yeah, kind of all the way yeah, around. Yeah, tons of storage. Okay. You got a direct connect gas line here. If you wanna yep. bring your own grill, cook outside, keep your smells outside. Love that, love fishing, that. You're fishing in Michigan. You don't want to cook the fish inside. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. All right. So 3,600, uh, you know, uh, watt propane uh, generator. Okay. Now, can, now, now the 24D, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to ask, is, can we get a diesel option if you yep, want diesel? That, you can get okay. a, the, the diesel upgrade. Okay, nice. Now the, the jacks, you can't see it from here. We'll go around. The jacks are electric stabilizer jacks on this, but you do you can get an option with auto uh, hydraulic jacks. Okay. Right. Now I, I'm seeing this right here. This I'm assuming is our water heater. Is that tankless? It is. Awesome. It's an AquaGo tankless water heater. I love Don't that. Don't have to worry about whether six gallons is going to be enough to what, shower. You know, <laughs> it, it, it was so funny, right? Because I talk to people about this all the time. Yeah. You know, people don't realize how much you use. If you have two people showering back to back, it's, it's just not going to happen in, yeah. in a six gallon normally. But with yeah. that, you're good to go. Yeah, exactly. So, and, you know, the awning, state of the art awning, just aerodynamic, just hugs against the, you know, the coach there. And Luke, is that a fiberglass roof I'm seeing? It is, fiberglass roof, fully walkable. Here's your ladder. Okay, okay. There's your tow hitch. And then, yep, and as we said, 5,000 5, pounds, pounds on there. Yeah. 
Excellent. I love, I love the look of the back end, too, yeah. right? Like, you know, you have, looks like the, the LED lights built in there. Yeah. Backup camera yeah. up top. So Winnebago did a really good job making it, you know, consistent with, with Mercedes build quality. So. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's a perfect pairing, if you will. Yep. Is that black tank flush up top? Yeah, Just black super tank flush. Super, that's a big deal. <laughs> yes. All your water connections here. Uh, Outside shower with hot and cold water. Okay. The, the hose connection is somewhere. Okay. But all your water connections are in there. And it looks like you have insulated valves. Again, we talked about the cold weather camping, yep, right? That's, exactly. That's part of it. Having tank yep. heaters is great, yep. but the last thing in the world you want is your valves to freeze yep, up. Exactly. And is this a transfer box? It is. So, so that's one of those things for people that are, are new to class C's, right? They might not realize right. it. But without that, you have what you call a Slater box. And what you have to do is if you run the generator, you actually have to take your cord and plug it back into a box right. for, to, for it to actually do anything and, right. and you know, repower up the battery. But with this, you don't have to worry about it. You run the nope. generator, good to go. Plug it into shore power, you're good to go. Yeah, exactly. Makes life easy. Yeah, just everything's convenient back here in this compartment. You know what, I, I wanna see, you know, we have the slide out right now. Can we actually move the slide in? I just wanna see yeah, what kind of space yeah, go ahead. we have. Yeah, it's all um, one convenient control here right by the step. It's always one of those things, I, you know, when you're talking motorhomes, right? Right. One of the big conveniences is you can just pull over and use the bathroom, use the fridge. Right. Um, I just wanna see what right. kind of space we have when we all close right, so, it up. So bring the slide in. Okay. You have your brake, parking brake up. Okay. All right. And then uh, the power's gotta be on. Okay. And then we gotta be on, sorry. Oh. And then it looks like this is our slide control right here. Yeah. All right, bed's good to go. We'll bring her in. Nice and smooth slide, slide motor. Yeah. Pretty powerful, pretty fast. See what we got here. Oh, perfect. Now, and this is what I like to see, right? I want to make sure I'm able to get back into the bathroom. Right. As well as access the fridge. Now, you know what? This is this full? Yeah, you can actually fold that up. Yeah. Ah, uh, oh, darn it. So close. All right. But it looks like you can still, you know, get, yeah, I mean, get as long as you well into there. Yeah, as long as you don't have 300 pound arms. Yeah. You're able to get in there. <laughs> and you, you do have full access to the freezer. I, you know, I, I love the fact you can make it back to the bathroom. Yeah, without having to pull your slides out, you can pull to the side of the road, go to the bathroom. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, I just wanted to make sure that was possible. Um, what, what do we have on the other side there? So let, let's take a quick look. At yeah. The, ooh, in the front. It, this is another thing is, you know, that, that turbo diesel's running and it's not very loud. It's, no, it's, it's not loud at quiet. all. Just like I said, top of the line features. You got the, you know, the aluminum rims there, more storage. Got propane yeah, there. So more storage. 12 gallon propane tank. That's plenty of propane. And I'm loving, I'm loving this front end too here, Luke. Not only is it, like you said, aerodynamic and looks great, yeah. but also the fact that that's one big piece. Yeah. You know, I know, then, that, I know that's a big concern for people sometimes with class C yeah. is, you know, water in the front, right? You hear right. horror stories of years ago, but right. with that one piece construction, definitely not something you got to worry yeah. about. And then you get the awning over the slide out as well. Another layer of protection oh, yeah. for water. Well, Luke, my friend, it is no wonder that you picked this thing. It's, it's beautiful. absolutely beautiful. Uh, a couple more floor plans available as well, right? Yeah. If someone wants the J a little and the bit B. Different. Yep. Okay. Now, because you helped me out here, tell me, Luke, if someone wants to, if someone wants to buy one of these, they want to get a hold of you. How do they do it? Called Car Camping World of Salt Lake City. Uh, look it up online. Uh, you could also ask for the, the RV Ninja. There it is, <laughs> the RV Ninja guys. I'm telling you, Luke knows his stuff. Thank you, everyone, so much for joining us. We'll see you later. Thanks, guys. Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world. Fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs, starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. Hi, Ian. Can't believe it's here already. We're wrapping up 
week number six. What an unbelievable weekend. Yeah. We can't thank you enough for tuning in. I mean, we are almost 10 million strong that here in insane. six weeks. We're breaking records. But I want to ask, and we, we welcome you guys. Uh, these are the Flip and Tilbys if you missed, if you're just joining us. You guys, it, having your family here has been such a treat. What has been your favorite part of the weekend? I think our favorite part of the weekend, other than just getting to know everybody and just enjoying being part of the Camping World team, is doing the giveaways and being able to have other people having these great opportunities to enjoy RV life and the outdoor world. I, Renee, I know this for a fact. You had so much fun. Every time she said a name, she just lit up like a Christmas tree. And Steve, oh, Steve, Sean, how could I forget your name? Steve, uh, pretty, Sean, pretty close. what was your favorite part? I, I think it was just being able to look and, and view all of the new layouts to see all the different RVs. It's something that we've been geeking out over for the last five years as we've kind of made this a full-time job for ourselves is working on RVs. And, you know, seeing the different layouts, it gives us great ideas and, and great options of what we can do going forward. I love it. They're helping us renovate ours, actually. So yes. I'm the glad plan. the ideas are flowing. That's the plan. Glad. The Flippin' <laughs> Tilbies. Make sure you uh, follow them on Instagram, on Facebook, and, of course, the Jurgies <laughs> we know all about. What was your favorite part, Nelly? You know what? I love, I love the giveaways, and I love doing the treasures right, you know, during, during all this. Because we are actually hiding another one. I think this weekend. Yeah, you guys are going to be hiding treasures across the country. Yeah, we won't be on the show next week because we're going to be hiding treasures. So you can catch more of that on our Instagram at the Jurgies. At the Jurgies. Uh, $500 gift cards. I love it. <laughs> and the star of the show, who you saw in our segments right. just a couple of moments ago, there's our baby baby. And Ian, always hard working, my friend. You and Chris Young, always. We're going to put them out in the cold of Minnesota next week. But before we even get anywhere else, guys, it's time to give away an RV. Let's do it right now. You guys ready? Woo. Yes, sir. Steve, uh, Steve, what are we Steve, giving away? That's twice. <laughs> wow. Man, three days just isn't Sean, enough. Sean, what I do we got? We'll have to try it again. We are giving away a 2021 Coleman Lantern 17B. Woo, I awesome. love this. And how do you get registered to win this RV, Nelly? All you got to do is text URVS to 46642, and they'll be registered. It's that simple. You guys want to say the winner? Oh, oh, yes. Go ahead. <laughs> Ellen McCrocklin. Ellen Woo! McCrocklin. Congrats. Ellen McCrocklin, congratulations to you. You got yourself a brand new Coleman Lantern 17B. And you know what? The fun is just starting. Four weeks to go on the national tour. We will see you next week. Can't wait. From Minnesota, we're going to bring the hot deals, even though it might be a little bit chilly. Can't wait to see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching. On behalf of all of us, I'm Sean Parr from across the country. Ian, Chris Young, all of our friends, the Jurgies, us, the Remingtons, and, of course, Steve and his family over here. That's right. <laughs> Sean and Renee and their amazing Tilby family. Thank you so much and our amazing crew. Guys, we'll see you next week. Have a great week. Thank you so much.